Hello, if you're watching this video, then you shouldn't be. You should watch the first video because that is part 1 and this is part 2. Well, technically it's part 1.2. The video was so long that I had to split it in two and then the Mama Max stuff happened. It's a lot. But we're back. In the last video, I really wanted more of Jesse to shine in the clips from the last calls, but I cut a lot of it out for brevity. For this part, I'll let them play out longer, so expect a clip heavy video. And just in case you're still here and need it, here's a refresher. Jesse tried to be an online content creator, failed after drawing a meme of someone dying of COVID, got exposed, moved to the next community, instantly started to flirt with some of the streamers, left weird sexual comments in live streams, got called out, freaked out, was told, hey, Chris Hansen is thinking about making a video about you, does some of the stupidest things you can think of in order to not have that video made, decides to hop on stream as a co-host. After waiting, the show starts and you hear this. You know, there is, there's some other news. Uh, unfortunately, I had to part ways with, with evil little McNuggets. Uh, if you did see the videos on my channel earlier this week, there was a, there was a bit of intrigue where I was removed from my own channel temporarily through a vicious legal maneuver by evil little mcnuggets who is now evil little mcbye bye uh and so uh, joining me tonight will I have, I have a new co-host jesse who basically oh well, not even basically uh said hey uh you know like you're gonna stream with me we're, we're gonna do this show so jesse you there hey everyone it's jesse so uh, yeah i do have a youtube channel um and i kind of just do a variety of different things and um, I'm grateful for the opportunity and I would love to, you know, shade the spade and keep things just on that topic, you know? Yeah, and, and what are some of the, uh, what are some of those bully comments that we are not going to be, oh, that, well, uh, well, the adorkables, Nuggies love forever. No, 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 <laughs> no, see, uh, Nuggets, uh, Nuggies is gone and, and, re and re replacing Nuggies is, is Jesse and, um, and we're not gonna have any, bull what are some of the bully comments that you will not be accepting tonight? What was it? Raggedy Ann? Raggedy Ann. Uh, so guys, no Raggedy Ann comments. What else? Save some spade. Yeah, yeah, guys, enough with the um you miss nuggets. I nuggets is gone. It's, it's, it's a new error now. And also please stop messaging me about nudes or unsolicited nudes. That's not the, the focus of the show. Joe, Joey C Cap channel. Jesse is most likely not involved in the Gilgo Beach murders. That is wow. I appreciate Joey. I appreciate that so much, and I'm so so sorry. Uh, I don't, we're going to resolve this issue, right, Wes? Well, where I mean, yeah. I tell him what are you sorry to, for? Um, for saying in a private conversation, which I did not. I was never going to say this and make it public about you know that people slid into my DMs about. Um, them being essayed by you and that was like a post well, no, just question for, so you don't have to you don't have to use, and i'm this, this, this is, to be resolved right this is this is not monetized you can just go come right out and say what did, what did you tell joey uh that if if he didn't give you the money you were gonna do what you were gonna say he did what well i want to say that i i don't want to repeat things because i i'm, well, I mean, he's, I'm he's very all, very sorry we, about that and yeah no I they all your story and, we're, and th that's the whole lie detector thing that's coming up right yeah. so it will be resolved to show and um one of the questions will be were you going to tell anyone or make it public that you were going to say if that people came into your dms about um him rape a woman I, 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 and that that was I never the thing i was posing the question well how would you it was feel just if po it was just money? saying joey if i don't yeah. get the money I will tell people that someone came to me and said you sexually assaulted them. It's just a simple, yeah. it was just and a couple of people right. and I, and sitting around having a, 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 a conversation to. regarding extortion. That's really all it is, right? Potential, potential extortion. Cause you didn't do right. it. But we're going to resolve that issue with a lie detector test, right? Yeah, yeah, so, well, I call it a truth telling test because yeah. that's <laughs> so we're going, the so truth, they'll you know? know that that's yeah. not what I was actually That you just said it, but you didn't even do it. I thought these conversations were supposed to be private. And then he's the one who brought it up. On the on the thing so i just put it up there to like say 
that Jesse yeah, is most likely not, and he stressed not involved in the Gilgo Beach murders. But could you right. quickly address the unnude thing, the um, the unsolicited nudes to what could have been a minor? Could you please address that while people are just yes. seeing it? Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't want to make this a whole trauma thing, but we all know. Absolutely, that just this... talk about the unsolicited nudes to the minor, and then we'll move and, on with. Queen and I have screenshots of people warning me that this person goes to extreme lengths in trolling, and they'll say whatever just to pull up the trolls so it doesn't matter what they say and they've done it to other people before not because i was hiding from anything well, but because i knew that it wasn't true and i, I knew I, that jesse, they, they jesse, were trolling me jesse i think in order to like they need to know what happened in order to okay so uh, here i'll break it down real quick uh jesse yeah, had a, a discord break, more break it down. Yeah. <laughs> jesse jesse had a discord and there was someone in the discord who was 16 years old unbeknownst to, to jesse well and there was no a, we don't know his age allegedly and people are saying son. that's well, why on his twitter he let's said just, he has an apartment let's so, just stick to, the, to what we know that the person the is saying they're yeah, 16 the years yeah. old uh and and yeah. called jesse said jesse was uh, heavier was it was a heavy person and wanting to prove this person wrong jesse sent some unsolicited nudes to this person who identifies as a 16 year old and and then and then and then what happened it was like someone that you yeah so FBI i got the message i got the messages um from uh addy saying that you, you realize that this person's 16 years old and from there there's proof and everything um of them being kicked out of the discord immediately and i blocked them and ceased contact after that i went into a someone named mop it, yeah mop like you know how like you know what a mop is a cleaning I, device I, yeah yeah um, cleaning device. But anyway but they're called mop and i went into their chats and i was talking to them and uh Theo was in the chat, so he's trying to say like, oh, this is him, this is her keeping contact and everything, and that's what crazy people do. Um, but, but long that, story short, I, I didn't long have any short. further contact with him personally. Yeah, no. of course, long story it's, short, you made- contact after or, that, and I was like, I felt befooled. Um, yeah, befooled, yeah, of course. Have, so long story, yeah. let, me just, let me just wrap it up so we can move on with Queen, but long story short, you okay. may or may not have sent uh, images to a minor and people are all up in arms about it. And and then today you told me in, in, in no fewer words, like, hey, get rid of Nuggies, you know, because of the, mm -hmm. and 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 I will do the show with you. And that's, and that's what we're doing now. So that, because people have a lot of questions of, of what happened. Yeah, give me sex. <laughs> all right. And RB Sex Pest, this is another, and I need, you know, this was, this would have been uh, Nuggies job is to call these people out. So like, I need you to call them out and I can't keep doing it on my own. Vex, I don't know what raggedy ass Celsius is, but that is a bully comment. Guys, the wall of shame can only hold so many names before I just start kicking people from the stream. Um, Jesse, do you have anything you want to say to the to the bully comments? Um, no, I'd rather not. I'd rather just, you know, you know, stay silent on that. And um, you know, it's 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 just disrespectful, but well, I said, um, Wes, can you check your private messages? Because I, I mean, can't because I'm I'm using the it's all right. Hold on. Oh, stop putting it on. But how um, do we address? Yeah, no, how they do know we, exactly what, how, what they're doing. Um, everything has. How been do we let people know not to fact. do it though? If they if we don't address it, how do we let people? Because like they they're asking you, can we can we at least address it so that we can stop getting the same questions over and over again? Yeah. So. For my uh, for my Discord server, you had to provide a moderator your social media profile, and that was the rule of the of getting inside. So we provided a no doxing rule. So if a moderator had your Instagram with you know your nieces or whatever, you know what I mean, um, private information on it, you wouldn't have to worry about that. So we just wanted to prove that you were of certain age. Now I had a troll from one of the moderators was a troll of mine, named Addy, and well, they well, allowed... but, no, I know, but they're asking they're asking the questions in the chat. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to because you're not you're not calling out the the no good nicks in the chat. So I have to do both I know. jobs right I, now. But you it's really hard. You understand that you're putting troll accounts on the screen, and I'm, you're just I'm kind of making them this on a there drama to call thing. them out because I, I don't want I want these people to see. Um, you put them up up there like that, and you call them out, and then they stop because re really, it's the it's the comments from people like I am right, Dina and those people. Anymore. Well, I mean, you, you kind of have to respond. That's the point of the show. It's not to just sit here and, and and with on your hands show. It's 
it's spade in the shade. So, I all right. Um, to, and, I, I agree with the, shade the spade, and I did not agree to. Um, and I have, you know, your message where we agreed that we weren't going to make this about drama, and we want to talk about. I'm spade. not making it about. I'm making it about answering the audience's questions because if if we don't answer them, how much worse does that look? Yeah, totally. I, again, you're roboting, so I'm, I'm assuming that what you said is okay. Let's let's continue. In a video where he was, uh, she was twerking in, in dirty underwear, and she got so mad, she did a copyright strike. And um, how do you do a copyright strike? Because I'm fairly interested in that, considering you know everything going on. I have tried, and they well, well, every still, time they still... and everything, they say you need to take your, you need to go to court. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? All these links that have been hit and press and, and well, all that. Who, and who's, stealing your, who's stealing your content? Um, Evil Little McNuggets was very upset earlier today when uh, when I let them know <laughs> that they were no longer a part of, of Spade in the Shade. And and Evil, M Evil Little McNuggets had a lot of uh, issues with that because they were like, I helped build the show and we had a good dynamic and things like that. And uh, and they said a lot of a lot of really mean things and they brought up a lot of things about you. <laughs> and level They brought up the, the Celsius yeah. stuff. They, they brought up, um, you know, like the the Theo the Theo stuff, and and they brought up the oh, like when you said that um, Addy when you when you accused Addy of spreading CP, you know, or no, getting arrested for. Um, I'm only bringing it up because people are putting it in the chat. Yeah. What? I said fish baiting people, but I do not want to talk about drama. And I thought I don't want to talk about it either. Listen, the last thing I want to do is talk about this on Spade in the Shade, but people are bringing it up in the chat, and I can't just. Well, you don't ignore. have to read the chat. You don't. Have to read the chat. Okay, I, okay, so I'm just going to ignore that people are saying the person on my well, no, panel. No, no. Ignore, yeah, the, the crazy. Okay, I can't goals. just just Jesse. I cannot just ignore that people are asking questions about. <laughs> so I just want. Can I just address it really quickly? Yeah, but I, I feel like it's more of taking over the stream. But yeah, of, of course. Okay, but if, if, if the, so, if the so. comments continue, that takes over. Guys, I'm just going to make, I'm going to say it now, and, and I'm not going to say it again. Um, the, last week, Jesse did falsely accuse someone of, of, of sexually assaulting children. Uh, made it up because because jesse yeah. was mad but you did right. make the, an, the tit for tat thing and i was it, used to being a pedophile and it was well right. i mean i mean i no one there's a absence of any proof right like so i mean you say that you were accused of it so you accuse this person of it on a live stream yeah no and, you, and, and it was right and i want that to be addressed and that's why we're going to do the lie detector test well, you said you didn't want it to be addressed that I have no like, people are addressing it people are addressing it in the chat so i want to make sure that we you know that we get it out okay, there well, so that people no, go in the I can't chat. Hear you. What was that? You don't have to be in the chat. I mean, you can, you know, talk to people. Oh, know, I can't do the show chat, without like so, that. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, in as Arby's and all this stuff, and it's just it just seems a bit kind of unnecessary. Well, I'm not I'm not the people in the chat. Like these people are coming to the show to watch a show, and 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 quite frankly, okay. they're not. They're probably not getting the best show because there's a lot of questions in the chat that aren't being addressed, and then they're going, "Well, why are they ignoring and, these questions and, uh, again and again?" But you know, I need to, I need to do this real quickly and uh, and and let Celsius sucks, girl. Celsius sucks, girl. Are you there? Hello. Hey, who is this? It's Celsius Sucks Girl. Hey, Celsius Sucks Girl, why did you want to join the stream? Um, I, I, you know, I just wanted to talk a little bit, see what's going on. That's Nuggets. So you're either going to end that right now or we're done. Because well, hold on, because Jesse, hold on. No, because... I'm not. Nope. Wes, I'm telling you right now, you're going to end that conversation or we're done. Because well, I will. That no, is, look, I will. Why is, are you? Are you? Nuggets. Are you scared of me? No, I no, will. And um, I don't want to talk to someone that is severely mentally ill. Um, and I knew someone who's mentally someone, ill here is you, babe. And someone Sorry. who, uh, uh, yeah, I've talked to people about this and saying that why do I feel like he's going to have her on stream? So I was not going to have uh, Nuggies on the stream. Nuggies came and okay. asked to join because they had something that they wanted to say. So I. So, I no, went. I'm not going to. I'm not hey, going Jesse, to why it. did you accuse me and Addie of child rape? That is a good question. Why did you accuse me of being a Nazi? Why did you accuse me of all these things? That that's the whole freaking thing. You're just yeah, a, a silly thing. little joke about okay. about no, a, not a, a Nazi it's Celsius not a drink is the same as accusing that. someone you know of child rape. Saying that my hair is red and I look like a clown. That, that is, is a joke, a, and it's very funny. That's a joke. 
that's that's, yeah, a, bully, exactly. that's so, a bully comment so are you going to relieve her her from her stream or i'm going to leave and well, just, that's just just the important that, she, that she wanted to add to the stream uh no because listen i we all we all know that she's mentally ill and we'd want the best for her but she goes off on a whole rampage and i don't want to be involved so we're going to do this i'm right the one on the rampage but you're the one falsely accusing people of sexual crimes when you're the one sending unsolicited news what nuggies wanted to come on and maybe nuggies would you like to do this next this there's next... nothing that she can say because what she has done to cyber squeak it's they. she has made people victims yeah still they then. and other uh, people well let's let's why don't we do this um, next this it's next uh, slide together what is this we... high school? What is it? Because she did the whole Mean Girls uh, high school thing, right? Like, because I know she's young. But Mean Girls came out yeah. when I was in high school. And you're you were like almost like 30 years old. Hitting up someone who's 20 so, years old. You're so jealous of me. Okay. Yeah. That makes total sense. You know what I so think right now, Paul, for guys? You are. Do you not remember that you... catty comment you left on okay. the community post? Well, guys, that? let's let's get to the rant, the rap part of the rant, rants and, and racism, right. and we'll be right back, all I'm three of us, to look at some of these slides. So, what's words? Diamonds on, fleet, bitch, I ain't talking about heat. Oh, uh, put it on streets. He straight up the. Ooh, I took the crown off the king like Mike did Elvis. It looks like we lost. Uh, we lost Jesse. Guys, I really asked for a bully-free zone uh, tonight, and I. And I don't feel like I don't feel like we got that. And uh, uh, she's able. Oh, she did. She hopped back in here. So let's let's re-add Jesse. Hey, Jesse, welcome back. Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely not doing this with a psychopath. And I have messages going on, being like, "What the hell? What the heck is going on?" Um, so yeah. Um, so you, are you coming here to tell us that know. you're not going to be here? So I'm just going to be nuggets for now on. Yeah, I'm planned. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bland. I have nothing else to say. I sound like a Siri doll. Yeah. You're literally so yeah. pressed. It's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think this will make for I, guys. I don't know about you, but I think this will make for a really good show if we can have this kind of dynamic. And I add in like um, some springs. No, and I, 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 I'm I here said, for I it. I do not want to talk. I do not want to be on a stream with someone who's so severely mentally ill that they have stalked me for this amount of time. Um, and I didn't you know discussed you discussed this, and you said that you were going to do it, and you lied. You're a liar. No, no, um, you're not on. Yep. Um, no, why I did have you have the link? Screenshot. Well, Nuggies, why did why did you have the? Did she she really did she really did come to tell us that she wasn't going to be before I can even do this? That's oh, true. looks like Jesse is back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I mean, why, why do you have this boring person and it's wild? This girl is a mess. Obviously, she's jealous of me. Not that, no, he's... Be nine months ago. This girl is a mess. So, Nuggets, people want to know no. why you are letting this, this person girl is a on your screen after a supposedly channel takeover. Um, she lied. She oh, wow. It's the worst. You make $800,000 um um a uh, year so that has to also be addressed you have made up all right so i went ahead and pulled um and pulled jesse out real quick because i didn't feel like that was at all and i didn't hear queen of spade mention once in that i heard a yeah. lot of facts on you um oh and it looks like now she hung up then and, and that that might have been my fault but so that went well the stream was a total disaster if it was real i feel like the streets would be filled with riots if it was real in fact, the rest of the show played out just like any other normal stream after Jesse got booted. So, um, yeah, I, I want to end it. This was, um, a, a look, it was a little bit of a train wreck, but um, I, I, we're going to be back with, with such a good show. Mm -hmm. um, it was our train wreck. It was. It was our train. And sometimes the train wreck is the, uh, you know, something, something, friends along the way. Um, but yeah, this, <laughs> this, it was a bit of a train wreck. I will admit that, but it was for a good reason. Surely after this, Jesse would start piecing everything together and leave just like Joran did, right? Nah. Yes. Can we talk instead of you being upset with me? Because I know exactly how you went. You were, uh, when I joined, rejoined the stream, because people were like, oh, they're carrying on like normal. So I rejoined the stream, and you were like, so this is a Queen of Spade uh, tweet or whatever, and you were talking, doing like the whole, like, 
as if you're doing the whole show with her. What what was I supposed to do? I you 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 a bit I um no. There's no excuse to getting rid of her. I'm sorry, but there's well, no, I'm sorry because you left and didn't really give you didn't give me an option. You left the show. Her access, you were carrying on with stream. What was you? You you left. You left the show. I had no co-host. What was I supposed to do? Just to a a psychopath that was attacking me. um, No, I'm. I'm. I'm literally asking you. What was I supposed to do? I had no one to stream with me. Kick them out, and then by then be be like, "All right, I I apologize for this uh, this issue," and be a professional, and then go on with the talking about. Everyone would have still listened to you. I don't do space. It's a two person show, and that's why it was so difficult early on. Severely mentally ill, like that. uh, Even even severely mentally ill, allegedly, uh, and she's able. They are able to push. (laughs) Well, you get what I'm saying. Oh, well, I have no proof. And just like with Celsius, and to get back to the Celsius yeah, yeah, example. Yeah, there, there's no proof. Just research and facts. And then you know that someone is obviously struggling. Maybe. I think that in, in my circumstance, I believe that she struggles with BPD. Well, they. But okay. And that and, and that may be. But absence of any proof, I, I can't really allege that and say that it's a, a true, a true no, statement. Not that you I don't think it just seems too set up. Well, okay, and and like we just discussed, how can you accept that? I'm, you know, like you want me to accept, and I do. I accept that the the little cartoon drawing of of the um, the man who passed away with COVID and the vaccine the night after it was announced. I'm willing to. I can I can accept that that could be a coincidence because there's a saying that even yeah. says stranger things have happened. You've heard that saying. Stranger well, not things have happened. Well, not only that, but there's there's um. I was in a group chat when I sent it to someone to, to these people. Yeah, exactly. And then I uploaded it. What? Yeah, um, no, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, exactly. In fact, nothing really changed after that stream because Jesse still wanted the same things. To stream with Wes on his channel, get money from Joey. Yes, we are still talking about the Gilgo Beach murders. A hippie and start, start asking for money. I, well, no, I just don't understand why you're <laughs> being offered more money to find uh, the, a, a Gilgo Beach. I brought you that case. I brought that to you. Yeah, you uncovered some additional information, but only by fucking greasing palms. I, I don't have the money to do that. Well, it's time to let's get you some money. Let's, let's you know, have us sit down with Chris. Not on Gilgo. I got Gilgo, but maybe something else. Maybe that's, he's working on. Uh, that's the biggest thing. That's That's the biggest thing right now. And there's other stuff though. There's you know other minor stuff, maybe. I'm maybe just saying I'm just saying I find it a little suspicious that you're being offered all this money and then and then you're trying to pin it on on Jesse. Well, I don't want to necessarily pin it on Jesse. Yeah. He just did, wants you tell, to scoop. did you tell him he wasn't involved and you lied and you and you were, you know, what about that? Did you what? tell him? Oh, oh well, I haven't story of really lies. gone into anything yet, but but he needs to scoop. I think this launches in October, which probably means November. But he wants to lead off with, I found the Gilgo Beach murderer. He doesn't want to lead off with, we found another clue. We found a piccolo yeah. to go with a belt buckle. He needs like, we. this is the person. And we sent the cops to arrest this person. And this is the first interview with the killer. Like, that's what he needs to really he, launch that channel. He killed himself. Who killed himself? The Gilgo Beach murderer. Whoa, because, you, um, you seem to like, know a lot about this case. His knife inside of an empty piccolo. Really? Or it might have been a recorder. I don't remember, but it was a woodwind. Wow. And he hid the knife in there, right in plain sight. Right in plain sight. I mean, that would be a convenient place to hide. Would, did you? Did your piccolo open at all? Like open in the middle to hide? Like, did it have like a, a carrying thing inside of it, Jesse? No. Or did you not inspect it that well? No, I mean, I, I barely remember I was a kid, so it's like... Yeah, they can be doctored, though. You well, were you ever instructed... Oh, here's a, were you ever instructed to leave your piccolo somewhere? Like, leave it behind no. this trash can at the beach or anything like no. that? No, it literally... Never. was just kept in the music locker. Uh, there was the band lockers, and... They're just yeah, but the school there. has the master code for those lockers. Yeah, there. yeah, so you have no idea. Obviously. <laughs> How many times did, um, did Brian Osborne show up at your school? Older. Okay, so, uh, um, cash app right now. 
What? Jesse, Jesse, there has to be some sort of agreement, some sort of contract reached before, because you you yelled at me. You got really upset with me for my stupid dealings with the contract just a week ago that really could have screwed me over. And now you're expecting Joey uh, to to just pay you money on, on your word, on a handshake deal, that if he gives you this money, uh, you're you're not going to come at him in another year or two years with more and more demands. Get a lie detector test so Jesse can clear her name. Something about Chris Hansen. And to get rid of Nuggies for good. Actually, the hatred for Nuggies was at an all-time high. So to give ourselves a little bit of a palate cleanser, let's talk about our favorite evil little McNugget. So this section is pretty pointless because nobody believes Jesse's lies. But this is supposed to be the Big Jesse video, and it wouldn't feel complete without discussing her extreme hatred for evil little McNuggets. Before we ask the big question, I think we should talk about what Jesse has done to Nuggies specifically. Hate is a strong word, and a bully word, so I'd like to back that claim up with evidence. In no particular order, Jesse has constantly called them an aggressive child despite them being 20 at the time. Yeah, I think that you really should not have a child who is hostile and does crazy freaking things like trying to take over your channel and all of that jazz. Yeah, people do not want drama and they don't like that. Um, she's like hostile and fucking, I don't know. Anytime she's ever came on their life, she's like, blah, 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 almost like a chihuahua puppy. Um, but then you have someone like me who's like level-headed and chill. She would purposely use Nuggie's name instead of her screen name. At first, she did believe that Addie and Nuggie's were the same person. So she would just say Addie when she's talking about Nuggie's. Then she just switched to Victoria Mancrab, which thankfully isn't her real name. For me, no, you're not. No videos. one's faking any. That Victoria Mancrab has been stalking you. Victoria and then I'll be like, ding! Victoria who? I freaking can't. Victoria who? What did you say? I know this one seems a little bit silly, but I honestly just don't get it. Cause like, if you came to me and said Victoria Mancrab is bullying me, I'm gonna say, who the f is that? You know, like people don't know who Brian Moreland is. They know who EDP 445 is. It kills whatever momentum you had dead in the water. Nuggets, I mean, Victoria can't talk like an adult. Well, she I don't, has anger I don't call, I don't call Nuggets Victoria because I call Nuggets by their screen name, which is what okay, they prefer. Well, just, I'll, I'll say Nuggets then because sometimes like I even forget what her, her real name is anyway, but um, she also purposely misgendered Nuggies. Right now, Nuggies uses any pronouns, but it was specifically told to Jesse that they use they them pronouns. And Jesse specifically chose to misgender them because I really have so much like like talent, talent quality content on my channel. So I don't know why she would be jealous of me. Mm -hmm. um, but her, for her to accuse me of being jealous of her, and I'm like, why, why do you, but why I, do you keep I'm going back? Why I just I I why do you keep going back to her though? Why misgender if 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 Nuggies goes by they them? I mean I get you're upset. Oh, because well, because of my um make baby tortoise and I've mentioned it several times. So it was like a play on um joke because my dad calls my um baby tortoise he, uh -huh. and, and they develop um a gender in uh, at a certain age. Okay, what age is that? I don't know for sure. I don't remember for sure. I think it was like, like I don't remember. But um, they, yeah, they, they develop like uh, their little uh, the spine and everything. So for female, it, like lines like crooked almost. Uh -huh. And and then obviously like there's the female and male male parts and everything that are identifiable. But um, but I would always say on my channel about how like my dad would call and he still does and i even today i was like she she you're dead naming her um but so let me let me let me ask you let me ask you can i stop can i stop you there so you get mad at your father for misgendering your tortoise oh, no, but, not mad, but well you pointed out but but you have no problem misgendering nuggies doesn't that seem no because i want proof that she actually feels that way. What? Because, what? What? Um, what? Liar? No, Wes, you're not going to do this to me. No, no, I'm. Lied about everything, and you're, you want me to? Um, she has called me a sex pest and everything, and you want me to call them they them? Hell no. Well, okay, but Jesse called Nuggies a pedophile, accused Nuggies of committing child rape on that stream where she thought that Nuggies and Addie were the same person. Okay, on July 26, Jesse and Guru went over this brony fanfic that Guru found and said that it was Nuggies. Of course, the fanfic wasn't written by Nuggies. It was just some random person's My Little Pony fanfic. 
and Guru was in on the Jesse troll. But this is what solidified the Nuggies is a pedo idea in her head. It validated that idea so much that she even spoke to Wes about it the next day on a phone call. Yeah, um, so she was like, it's okay if you're a minor, um, you can, you can read my essay, but I just prefer if you were 17, um, like if you were at least 17, um, and, uh, yeah, uh, just several, like, her entire story, not even, we just read chapter one, uh -huh. but, um, there's more rape and everything, and being like, I have to do it, because I'm a sub, and she, she talks about how, um, she's been in BDSM since she was a little girl, um, and then she, so she put in her notes cause she keeps, she puts notes in between the chapters and stuff. And mm -hmm. she says that the character is me. Um, the character is me, but I'm, I'm like a fictional character. And you, is there, is there proof that, um, that Nuggies wrote this? Cause I, I know you're saying you want to, like, you want Hanson to see this. Is there, is there proof? Cause I'll, I'll take it to him if there's a. Um, well, I mean, she, uh, there's a conversation with, uh, with someone, but they don't want, um, they don't want drama or whatever because they run the discord and all of that. And, um, they're messaging me right now and they're saying, um, yeah, they're, it's, it, I don't know, but I, I, it's a lot to freaking, you know, um, handle right now because I did not expect this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really, I really didn't expect that this would be and not only that but she uses radiating radiating energy and um and then uh t talking about like um she, she first of all she gets the whole dom submissive stuff wrong and uh it's so weird though because so she must not be a good proofreader because it shows that she edited it several times in in a few days she changed her status on skype to nuggies is a pedophile for real and she even wanted chris hansen to investigate nuggies because she wrote some porn story that's related to her trauma that's not actually her story she was so she was deflecting you know what deflecting is right? I, being, I, being like, I know what you are you know what am i listen like, i i do here's here's the only issue that that i'm like i know you want to take this to so I know you want to take this to Hanson and, and, and you seem pretty amped up and, and excited about this and I get it like you, but uh, like, so right now your, your Skype, your Skype message, uh, your, your Skype, what is it? Status. Um, status. status. Your status uh, is Nuggets is a pedophile for real. And, and yeah. what is your proof of that? Because that, if if, well, if the of, absence of any of proof, the, um, that is that is no one, had, no one had proof for me. No one had proof for me. No one had proof for me. Jesse, so it doesn't Jesse, matter. I don't need proof, but I gotta go because I'm about to get to work. And um, well, Jesse, I yeah, think uh, I think we need to this. Chris Hansen was looking into me. I mean, well, there's an actual well, pedophile. That's well, insane. Yeah, if you, right, if you want me to take this to Hanson, I need I need to know more. You know this um this this Nuggies is a pedophile. The message that she sent me before this call was, I feel so much better now that I caught her. Now I can move on and do my own thing. Thanks for everything and take care. So she feels that whatever this fan fiction is, is a knockout blow. And this is going to completely turn things around for her by making Nuggets out to be uh, this awful person. So I'm trying to plant the seed that well, you don't know who wrote this. Uh, and, sh and you know, she was wanting 50K from Joey for him asking me a question in a private DM about her being uh, somehow involved with someone on with the Gilgo Beach murders. But she's her status right now says Nuggets is a pedophile for real. I, and, and no one did it for me. No one did it for me. Holy shit. She's like a 12 year old. So let's call her back. On July 21st, so six days before that unhinged call, Jesse made a channel called Evil Little McNuggets Exposed. This channel consisted of many, many videos and shorts of nuggies, from 15 second parody songs to videos filled with straight up slander. Jesse would also go on to dox clobbering time on this channel and try to blame it on nuggies. Here are some more examples of the stuff on that channel. Can we talk about how horrible this makeup is? I mean, does she use a finger to put on eyeshadow? And what is up with that wing? It looks like she has green gunk infection under her eyes. And she puffs out her lips like she's a Kardashian. Chubby cheekbones too. This is Victoria. Never forget that evil little McNuggets, aka Victoria, was sending child porn stories to people. If someone was taking her identity, don't you think she would have went to the police? <laughs> it was her. And finally, after everything was said and done, Jesse would constantly bring Nuggies out of nowhere. 
especially during later calls with Wes. Like, well, I mean, I use oh, passing I gas noises in some of my videos. I know she does turn 20 years old. Well, but they them. They them. That's the thing. She literally has, she has a more baby face than I do. And I'm like, I know Aww. I'm 28, but it's like, but um, just chubby cheeks and yeah. like she has she has fillers and everything. I don't know if she's got, like that Kardashian style. Like my sister kind of does, my sister doesn't have fillers, but she like dresses the, like them, that kind of style and everything. Oh my God. Every but, um, People are still how, messing me about your like sister, a, by the way, wanting to know if your sister's she single. Like a, she dresses like a girly girl and she wears pink and stuff. Yeah. So if she... If she really wants to go by they them, you would think that she would have more of a different identity. Like, well, I think. Well, I think that's um, the thing. I think you can't define. But, you know, if someone wants to go by but, they them and, she, and dress like a Barbie, like a that's girl. really she up to does them. Does go by she her on her social media. It's like, and oh, that's she, easy, oh, to, they do. easy to fix. There are probably tons more that I didn't get, but I hope I gave you enough evidence to make you go, "Wow, Jesse really hates nuggies." Now we need to answer a very important question: Why does Jesse hate evil little McNuggets so much? I got the top leading scientists in the world to help me solve this conundrum, and here's what my team came up with. 1. The Troll Right in the beginning, Wes asked Nuggies if they were okay if he made them the villain of this story, and they said yes. He did a really good job at that, and this does play a small part of the hatred Jesse has towards Nuggies, but only a small part. 2. Everyone likes Nuggies, nobody likes Jesse Evil Little McNuggets is a national icon. Look up their name on Google and you get this image as the first result. That's a pretty cute Evil Little McNugget. If we go look up Jesse on Google and find the first result, we get... Oh. Oh dear. Jesse just has this energy, this vibe that comes off so nasty. In every conversation I've heard Jesse in, she sounds like she's not even paying attention. She just doesn't care. But look at that Evil Little McNugget. That is an evil little McNugget, and they aren't awful. Jesse is awful, and that makes Jesse very jealous. Surprisingly, this is not the biggest reason why Jesse hates Nuggies. 3. Paranoia and connecting things that aren't connected. So a long time ago, when Jesse was trying to get with clobbering time, she firmly believed that Nuggies and clobbering time were dating, which made no sense because they have never spoken to one another before. Nuggies was a mod for his channel, had did some art for him, and featured on Clobbering Time's community tab page after buying merch because he does that with everyone. Jesse replied under that post making some snarky comment, so right off the gate she's drawing connections that aren't there, and viewing Nuggies as the enemy. Then she gets called out by Nuggies in the chat and immediately goes on the defensive. Then Jesse jumps to Wes, and a bit after, or maybe before, I don't feel like checking, but Nuggies starts streaming with Wes. Jesse promotes it begrudgingly, then this entire troll happens, they troll Wes, they badmouth Celsius, and they ambush Jesse during that apology PSA call. That ambush was a pretty big deal for Jesse. Jesse really really hates conflict, she's a coward who would do anything to avoid it, even if that means looking like a bitch. This is also the moment where Jesse starts trying to figure out why Nuggies is so manic. Her reasoning is that she's a child and that she's mentally ill. That second reason is interesting because that's what Jesse calls anyone who has a problem with her, but expresses it in a non-calm way. Then Jesse starts drawing crazy connections that make no sense, like the brony fanfic being theirs despite no proof of that anywhere. The most important and craziest connection was Nuggies being Addy. Even though it makes no sense because they look nothing alike, this allows Jesse to tie Nuggies to Theo and Green Frog, people who have been watching her do dumb shit for a long time. So now Jesse makes another assumption, which then immediately becomes fact, that Nuggies has been trolling her since she met Steve McRae. Did that make any sense? After the troll ended, Jesse never really let go of Nuggies being this villain. She's like an elephant, because she remembers everything. Yeah, that. In conclusion, Jesse really hates Nuggies for no reason at all. Okay, so back to our regularly scheduled program. We last left off with Jesse and Wes doing a stream together, and on said stream, Evil Little McNuggets ambushed Jesse. This happened on July 25th, 2022. Then there was a call the next day where Wes and Jesse talk about the stream ambush. What do you want me to say to, um, to Nuggies? Nothing, like, literally. So there's this word, cease contact, <laughs> phrase, cease contact. Where there's zero contact, there's no, there's no reason. We already proved that this person was a troll, saying horrible things and accusing someone of being a rape apologist, saying the same exact sentences that Addie has said. That's yeah, why you know still no, not they're basically they 
they seriously still do look like two two girls with the same uh, with different haircuts. No, it's not. It's, it's not the same. Last year. It's definitely not the same person. They're they're definitely two different people. Okay. In that same day, we also get a call with Joey, and they discuss the Gilgo Beach stuff again. Why can't you just send me the cash up money while we're on the phone? It doesn't make any sense. Because they the contract, okay? You gotta send but, it but to the me. the other day, the other day, you the were other trying day, to... The other day, the other day... You were trying to send me to the <laughs> Stop it. You're I did send less. 2K. I sent you a screenshot. It didn't go through. It didn't go through because they only accept 1K. No, that's, that's not... Why. I don't do most of my banking through fucking cash app, okay? What about, what oh. about, uh, ChapSnap? <laughs> no! I use I actual banks. Thing. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to work because I'm just, I'm getting frustrated. I'm going to call Chris and find out what's going on. All right, Jesse, get me something in writing, okay, babe? All right, baby. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I don't even, I don't even know what's going on. It just doesn't matter what hole you get yourself into. It just doesn't matter what hole you get yourself into. You can put it in my mouth or you can boogie down on south. You can put it in my ass. We'll have to smoke a lot of grass because I know it will hurt. So let's numb the pain first. It just doesn't matter what hole you get yourself into. <laughs> um, Yeah, so my entire family took a COVID test. And I'm the only one with fucking COVID. On July 27th, we had the call where Jesse accuses Nuggies of being a pedo. With her evidence being this random fanfic that she doesn't even know if it's theirs or not. Kind of want to just like take a step back because this is this is crazy that this girl came into this community after learning about my anti-Katie Joy drama and then stalking me and all this stuff. And um uh well, i'm dying my I, hair so it won't be red it won't be red anymore but uh -huh. if she dyes her hair red i think that i'm going to have to literally call the fbi like not call the fbi but what, what color are you crimes. what color are you dyeing your hair it'll be a surprise oh okay this is where we are now on that same day wes and jesse speak once again and they talk about a lot of different things her sending nudes hello uh, i i don't understand how you keep blaming this on trolls Yes, because it, it's sock accounts and trolls and everything, and they've been doing this for months. I mean, I've been ignoring it because Jesse, Jesse, you know, I don't, I don't believe in things that are not true. You know, Jesse, did you send unsolicited pictures to people? Yes. Have you been removed um, from? No, no, because people have Jesse, asked me for pictures, and I can't recall anything other than the Theo incident where I thought he was a forty-something-year-old man because he was always in Steve McRae's dreams, and it's eighteen plus. And, um, Jesse, you admitted like, you admitted on a call that you sent unsolicited nudes to, to to people, but then afterwards they may have liked it. But you know your you know that you sent pictures to people without them asking, not just Theo. Even I if mean, they, I can't, even, think, I can't think of anyone. You admitted to it, and even if they responded to it positively after, you still sent unsolicited pictures. That's true. You've said it, and there's proof of it, and he has that proof. Steve McRae. So you're it's saying really, you're saying there's not one legitimate person who has contacted Chris with a screenshot or with a story. Not one of them can be legitimate. That you sent them unsolicited nudes or you fought with them in a community or you you did this, you did that. Like there's not one person. Um, I mean, not that I can exactly think of. not that you um, could think of because you've been in a lot of communities. You know, you've had issues in communities. And this is what I'm trying no, to talk I've to you about. I've only had issues in the anti-KJ community, and that was because of Kim, the Kim S bullshit. And that's the only thing. What about Two Spirit? Um, I, everyone loved me. Everyone was saying all these great things until that one day where um, Kim S and Christ Conflict decided to make up this drama for you. So why is Steve McRae publicly disavowing you? Uh, now? Yeah, Why? Is, if, if you had no issues, why would, why would Steve McRae need to publicly disavow you and say, I, I'm not working or talking with this person at all even if you're still talking in the background why would they need to publicly make that statement if you didn't oh, make because a because az has literally if you go on her profile and uh, go to her twitter and type in um az or you know az steam McCray, whatever she i'm telling you tweet after tweet after tweet after tweet and he was just trying to work like go to go to work and everything and ha not having notifications blowing him up he told her stop you're delusional and things that you're saying about Jess is not true because I was there. 
and said, and then, um, so we decided in private together that we would um, say publicly, I don't talk to Steve anymore. And because everyone was like, you're, you're talking to our rape apologist. So we agreed to publicly tell everyone we don't talk to each other and then kept it, you know, kind of quiet. Well, I mean that, and that sounds like a like an interesting uh, an interesting story, and, and that could be believable. But I, I see a screenshot where you're replying to it, saying, "I don't know why he would be saying this publicly when we're still talking." So it didn't look like something that was agreed upon, and 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 that's that's know, another thing. Know, no, I, no, 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 hold I on. That, but you're making um, these demands I, of you're I making. I honestly didn't expect. Jesse, you're making these demands of me. And you can't even give me honesty. I feel like you're not giving yes, me I'm honesty. Yes, I'm giving you honesty. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, okay. I, why? I, okay. The, okay. I want to be your well, sub, so I would never lie to you because I do not lie to my dom. Nuggies being a pedo. And then I, I, mm. I'm trying to help you on this, and now you have, you're calling it proof. But it, what is your proof that Nuggies wrote that story? Well, that's what I was told. And since Chris Hansen, uh, Chris Hansen Lind listens to people who just tell him anything and a little thing, um, I could do the same. No, Jesse, um, that's that whole mentality of, well, they did it first and that doesn't work. If, no, if it, no, I'm not doing that. I, I really don't care about that. I'm, I'm extremely hurt. Um, that, uh, you know, that she, and she keeps, she's obsessed with me and she keeps talking about me to people. And I challenged no. her. I said, if you stop talking about me, this channel is no more. And she could not do it. She cannot do it all day long. People are like, she's talking about you in my DMs. Jesse, um, listen, listen to me. Because you're saying that you have proof that a person is a pedophile a week after accusing Addie of, of being a pedophile and, and sexually assaulting minors. And a day, and and not long after you you made a rape accusation against Joey. So where, oh, I, I fucking forgot, Wes. I'm so so sorry. I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I forgot that other people can call me a pedophile and all this stuff. But I can't. Jesse, wow, you don't. You so do dumb. realize this is exactly what Queen of, what Queen of Spade would say. About me, but wow. I'm no, so no, dumb. it's not okay for people to make up anything about anyone. No, but that's what's going on, and it seems like you don't care. No, um, that's why I'm trying to talk to you about this. Because see, as as soon as you start doing it, as soon as you join in with that, then it makes your argument completely null and void. Because you can't say, well, yeah, I did it because tit for tat. It's the same tit no, for tat then, that we so keep then, talking about. Why don't you just, why keep, Why don't they stop? What do you mean? I haven't seen Nuggies do Speaking anything. Speaking lies about me and stuff. Like, I never messaged an underage person. This person's not underage. Everyone, they've been in communities for five did years. Did you know that Where when, their but the, they just, still Jesse. have denied giving any, uh, they didn't give their ID or anything. They just, they have mental issues and... That's, that's so another I mean, person, another like, person with mental. The, the lie detector test, Je but um, Jesse, so everyone you know, is everyone who doesn't agree with you has mental issues or no. is a troll. No, 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 that's no. what you're I saying, Chris Hansen and lie detectors. So you're blaming Nuggies for what other people are saying based off of a video when you don't want yeah, people. Yeah, that's slander. Okay, listen, I. I just want I just want this to be done so both of us can move on. We could do Queen of Spade um, because like all this stupid stuff is just it's just taking over so much time and it's just you know it's wild. So you know I asked you to schedule a uh, lie detector test and then um, you know from there. You know, I'm talking. I'm I'm supposed to be talking to Chris very soon. What do you want me to tell him about this video? To just do it? You don't give a shit. No, of course I care, Wes. I'm saying that all this, what we we discussed everything. You know, we were on good levels, um, like how we wanted to do a lie detector test. Yeah, we were going to do a lie. Yeah, going to do. Didn't want to do that. So, no, okay. who's? Why are you saying I didn't want to do that? You're the one who said you're the one making ultimatums. You're the one making demands. No one said that but you. So, like, please stop oh, trying to. I don't know. Maybe I'm confused because of the lack of sleep because I have a stalker. Anyone who looked at your channel and the Evil Little Nuggies channel would assume the stalker was you. Oh, and the next show. Uh, look, I, I have to get on the, the phone with Hanson. I don't know what telling him about a lie detector test to prove anything about Nuggies. None of what he is asking about is about Nuggies. It is about things that he has actual either screenshot or video proof from your own channel. Like the the all the all of the shower and vibr masturbation streams that were not age protected, like he has all of that. 
So that's because I didn't know how to do it. That is not a valid excuse. Okay, well, that's why if you see all my videos have been 18 plus. I mean, we could do a lie detector test and discuss any questions that he has. Um, but, you know, um, I definitely want him to know that there's, I am a stalker and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, but what does the stalker I mean, have is, to do? This is wild. I what mean, does the you stalker know, have to do? I'd love for you to schedule a test and then you could tell me. Um, and then I would like to discuss our next show because I like to be prepared and kind of, I felt like that day I was like kind of just a wandering little lamb and you know and then everything happened and it was all it was all a mess but um it's very important that you know people know what's kind of going on like this will be discussed today or whatever but um sure. like i said i think farmingdale is the closest lie detector test to me was, all right was it, or farmingdale well, farmingdale farmingdale i don't know i always get those two mixed up but there's a train that goes directly over there okay let, let me do this i'll talk to him about it i'll let him know about the the lie detector test and everything and then you and i will just talk later to touch base and figure out uh the next show and stuff Yes, despite everything, Jesse still wanted to do Spade in the Shade. Of course, Wes agreed to it, and hopefully nothing bad happens this time. They both decided to stream again on July 28th, 2022. Well, kinda. It wasn't actually Spade in the Shade, it was a pre-recorded segment that they were making that would be later edited down for the real Spade in the Shade tomorrow. There were three segments planned, the first segment being about Nuggies and going over the Ray's Shadow Legends commercial she made, the second segment was going to be them reacting to a lie detector test that Nuggies took, and for the last segment, Wes and Jesse planned to do an interview with a Queen of Spade victim. I have no idea why Jesse agreed to this. Jesse has said over and over again that she wants no drama, but then willingly got on a stream where two out of the three topics were about Nuggies. One more thing to point out before we begin, everybody in the live stream chat knew what was going on and was in on the troll, unlike last time where nobody knew what was going on. This is going to be great. I can already tell this is going to be a great show. Guys, thank you for coming tonight on short notice. I apologize for being late but my uh my co-host and i were, were having some technical difficulties getting started uh today is something a little different it is a spade in the shade but what we're doing tonight is recording a segment that will be edited down for tomorrow night's uh spade in the shade i'm gonna edit that down to like three minutes for tomorrow's show kind of when we when uh, we explain why why you are the new uh new co-host i think we maybe did people a disservice by not doing that when you were on the first time and it, and it kind of fell apart on us so jesse could you could you say hi to everyone uh in the audience that's something that nuggies would normally do and just kind of welcome everyone to the chat yeah because she likes to copy me and that's what i've been doing for years so um let's see yeah I, um, as far as i know you were the trolls, only one who would welcome people to your chat uh five one two three four six five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, you, 20 trolls in your chat. Are, They're are all you, fake names making making fun of me. Um, but thank you, uh, WB Slash, for being here. Um, Julia and oh, hey, Julia. Cookie Wookie Pie. Um, let's see. You know, I'll, you know, I'll go through them because Celsius contains... All of them are all, everyone that else is, is trolls. I don't believe that is true. Jesse's Tortoise, Condom Full of Celsius... Ronald McDonald official. Sorry, yeah, those I'm are all not... trolls making fun of me, and you're going to have them in your chat. I mean, that's kind of unprofessional. Jesse, I'm reading through the people in the chat, like this, right, it's... and those are trolls, so therefore they should be, you know. Jesse, what's, what's unprofessional is, is us arguing in in front of our audience. Can, what? So can I... The first segment, like I said, was dedicated to reacting to the Raid Shadow Legends live stream that Nuggies did. The troll being that Jesse and Wes did a Raid Shadow Legend live read, and Nuggies stole it word for word. The problem is that Jesse doesn't even remember doing it at all. Hey. Will you be me? We don't know. Yes, we'll wait and we'll see. That's not Nuggets. Oh, Nuggets doesn't play video games. She does nothing. I forgot. Well, why doesn't she show herself in a chair and actually playing video games and maybe playing some hey, instruments? Hey, Jessie, but Jessie, she does nothing. Jessie, she does nothing. I don't get it. Jesse, these are your lyrics. No, nope. no, they're not. No, I these are, never these are the, wrote these a are, Shadow Legend song. I you did a week remember. ago. A week ago, when we did that that live read, and they had you do a song at the end. These are your exact lyrics. 
Um, no. You no, can be a winner um, like me. That, I didn't do join, that. It even said, join the J squad. Be a raid god. That's weird. Why would she... Why, I don't think she wrote this, but I mean, um, someone said, definitely trolled me and wrote that. I mean, I don't know. That's so strange. What, what I don't... I don't what have you, like a J squad on Ray Chattel Legends or anything. It was like on that. the so live read that's script, that's Jesse. Do you remember what last are you talking week? About? Do you recall a week ago when we did the rage for, for Steve Asarch, we did the, the live read. And at the end they asked you no. to sing a song. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm bad. I'm sorry, I'm blah. I remember that I remember that. No, 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 no gas is evil. She's mentally ill, and we all know. Yeah. <laughs> um. No. The next day, when we did the li the raid Shadow Legends live read, and and at the end, I've I've never heard of anything related to Shadow Raid Shadow Legends and me. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to find out where you get your weed. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, was very right. very aggravated. And you know, throwing all out all these things and everything. And um, hey, Jesse, can we not misgender though? Just because this is a, a we're going to be editing this segment down. And but everyone's been misgendering me. I go by they them. Since when? I, I didn't. Who knew that? <laughs> it's been on my channel forever. But okay. Um, for the next segment, aka the Nuggies lie detector test, I'll play as much as I need. But this was the best part of the stream, so I have to highlight it as much as possible. And I want people to know tomorrow what's going on. So, like I said, they're admissible in court, so this could all be a lie and paid Wait, for. They're admissible in court. They're admiss Yeah, they they are admissible in court. I thought they were. And um, in court. she also she uh, let's say she's also mentally ill and she could be in psychosis. Um, patient number what? <laughs> Why would you say patient number? She well, went because... to the doctor's office or something. Yeah, like I, I, I guess in their state, um, you have to go to a private place. And oh, maybe she sees a psychologist because of her mental illness, and well, then they, 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 they recommended. Jesse. Oh my God, Jesse, are you still there? Jesse, unmute yourself. Jesse. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just not responding like she does. Yeah. Yeah. And because he wanted to me <laughs> to be like her. So I'm just going, yeah. No, I don't think you're paying attention is, is what's going on. Did you hear any of that? Mm-hmm. Okay, what please please relay what, what you just heard then. No, I like I said, I'm I do not want to talk about a child. Jesse, can, can can are you gonna are you gonna actually do this or or do, should I just end the stream? I'm here. I'm just. I don't know what's you're, going on. You, so you're confused. not paying attention. I know you're not paying attention. Like that that was a, that was like a lie. You 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 weren't even watching. I you're told like, you I wouldn't lie to you. Off getting a bowl of cereal. Of, you know show. what we talked about. Did you hear anything that just happened? Yes. Okay, can you tell me what you so I so I'm sure that we're on the same page. What just happened? I do not I do not want to talk about a child. I feel very uncomfortable because then this is going to be a whole thing of me well, talking about You know about that's what a reaction who... is. We're going to watch it and react to it, which means we're discussing it. What do you mean you don't want to re Um cuz then, you know, people will be like she was talking about a child. People and... say they were doing the show that they were supposed to be doing and Nuggies is not a child. Nuggies is a legal adult. Well, what do you think? She look. Uh, they look too young. She looks too young. Yeah, I can't do this because she's a child, and Jesse, I feel like Jesse, this is a setup to be like, see, she does talk about children. That so, is the. I mean, I'm gonna shit. put myself on mute. You're not gonna put yourself <laughs> on mute. You are, Jesse. You are not gonna put yourself on mute. I will end this fucking stream. Stop playing games. You are not gonna put yourself on mute. We are going to do this, and then we are gonna move on. Okay. All right, fine. Let her lie. Let her do her thing. We're going to we're going to watch the fucking videos what we're going to do and we're going to react to the video but not like this. I will edit all of this out for tomorrow, but please stop arguing with me. This is not professional. You're a good person. Well, thank you. you. And you're one of my favorite channels on well, YouTube. Thank you. I, I appreciate you make the high quality content so it doesn't I, matter the views and everything. Well, but but um can, can, please can we can, can we continue? 
for oh, a Oh yeah, continue the bullshit nothing. video that's um, on YouTube, YouTube absolutely. Channel, is that correct? Yes. Next question, Nuggies. <laughs> Are you Every time a minor it things, I die. Person? Absolutely not. I missed that. Nuggies. I missed that question. A minor attracted person. Yes. <gasps> she said question. she's a pedophile. No, no. <gasps> Are you a minor attracted person? <laughs> she just no, no, Jesse, Jesse, I rewound. Right now. I'll be right Jesse, back. I rewound the video. Jesse, holy shit! And and she, and she left. And she left the stream. And she did say she did she did say, um, Victoria Mancrab. That's not at all a SpongeBob name. She she really did she really did leave. Um, I'm, I mean I'm I gotta keep it I gotta keep it going. You heard them answering the question prior to the question you think you heard because you were running your fucking mouth. I rewound it. They said yes to the question before, and then you fucking left. I need you to come back because we are in the middle of a show, Jesse. This is embarrassing. You're embarrassing me. Come back to the show so we can give these people the product that they're here for. Quality entertainment on a Thursday night. Like, this, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. She legit just left the show and started streaming on her own channel. Wow. Yeah, Dr. Edward Hollingsworth. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know... And fat-eyed flavored Celsius. Uh, again, I'm I'm sorry about the uh, the lack of professionalism here. I mean, I guess we can go and check out uh, her her stream, maybe. The whole thing is pretty freaking funny because I'm. It makes me wonder. So. She says that she came to the community on July, uh, not July, January 1st, right? So, you know, she, obviously she was talking about everything and she probably saw the Green Frog channel and, um... Like, this is legit yeah, insane. Wow, this is wild. And then, oh my gosh, what's so freaking weird about this is that she admits that she likes... How do you just leave a channel and run to your own channel and stream? Fake, it's 100%. Why did you leave the stream? I re I no stop it's stop it's, it's stop. Tonight, so Listen to me. Tomorrow. Listen to me. I rewound the video because you were talking over it. What they said yes to was the question before. If you would have given me two fucking seconds to explain that, you wouldn't have run off and started your own goddamn stream during the middle of hours. How does that make sense? How the fuck does that make no stop stop stop. stop. How does it make sense that yesterday you're threatening me that you need to be the new host of the show and you can't even fucking stay while I'm trying to talk to you? Make that shit make sense. Of course, you I no be, no I stop 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 um, stop. Listen to me. Um, Listen to me. Stop. You what do you mean? Think that you you fucking left the show? I don't think you're arguing. I think you left. What? Listen to me. Listen to me. Come back to the fucking stream now. I'm done with this shit. You don't leave a stream during the middle of it and start streaming on your own channel. The fuck is wrong with you? Come back now. Yes, sir. Jesse, I know you hear me. I pay for my own internet. What are you talking? No, listen. You need to talk to me. Because I've ne that was the most unprofessional thing I've, I've ever seen on YouTube. We were in the middle of a stream and you left and started streaming on your own channel. I know because I don't appreciate no, it. No, 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 there is no, 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 yeah, there is zero excuse because listen to me. The drama. No, there's no drama. The drama was when you got up and left during our stream. That's the drama. The question that you heard an answer to was the previous question. I rewound it because you were talking. And then before I can even say anything, you left why because i really want to contact law enforcement but then listen i realize it's midnight listen and there's me. i can't Jesse, do that you want to contact law enforcement about them answering no to being a map because that was the answer to being a map yeah but I, this is fake though 
Okay, this is so it's fake. fake. And okay, so, if, so it's fake. Yeah, um, so it's so fake that you needed to go on your channel and stream about it and tell people that that Nuggets is a map. Okay. No, no, gonna, sir. I'm just going to, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my peace. Absolutely. Can, not. Come on. I want you to apologize to the audience who was sitting here waiting while you're on your own channel, ignoring me when I'm trying to get a hold of you. I apologize what? for leaving the stream. That was not professional. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I really do no, want, no, I, just, I do no, want, they don't need a, no, they don't need it. I just are an excuse. Okay. You fucking yeah. left the stream I, uh, while it yeah, was running and then uh, we're sitting here waiting for you. I know it's all, it's personal. So I'm going to keep what I'm going to do personal and I'm not going to talk about it in live streams. What are you talking about? The fuck? Are, what are you talking about? Just focus on the one thing at hand here that you left our stream to go stream on your own channel because you heard the wrong information and could not wait to hop off this stream. Yeah. Can I continue now or, or do you need to run off real quick again? Um, no, um, I do need a second. My sister just got home. I just, I just, I do need a second. Um, one second. So it can then be surmised you are not in fact jealous of Jesse. Correct. Jesse. Jesse. I can say the same same thing for her. What are you doing? Are you like are you using a copier machine? Are you making Xeroxes? No. What was that sound? Hello? Yeah, I I yeah, one second. My sister's home, so Okay, is your sister making copiers? Does your sister work for Xerox? Because I was like a Xerox <laughs> sound. Um, no, one second. Again, everyone, I apologize. Uh, I know this is not the spade and the shade that you were used to. Um, rolled a little bit better. It was a bit, bit different chemistry, but uh, as we work these kinks out, I, I do believe that uh, I, I, um, freelance Dom Lee, do you believe you believe she's moving her desk? That is a possibility. Um. I don't think it's a vibrating microphone, condom full of And also, don't put Celsius in a condom. It'll eat right through it. All right. Yeah. Um, so my sister had to use the bathroom and I had to get off. Um, but yeah, I just told her about everything. Um, like, this is crazy, right? During the fake lie detector test that Jesse did believe was fake, she thought she heard Nuggies admitting that they were a pedo or something. Then she immediately went to go start her own stream and then came back to the original stream. The last segment, finally, is the interview with the Queen of Spade victim. I think you all know what happens next. Again, I will oh, remind what? you. You should have told me before the stream. <laughs> okay. This person has been doxxed, shamed, harassed, and and most people who have dealt with Queen of Spade will have dealt with the same thing. Uh, doxxed, shamed, harassed, falsely accused of pedophilia, mocked for their abuse, attacked for their looks, slandered, defamed, and libeled, accused of partnering with hate groups and troll operations while dozens of videos were made against them. I've had my own run-ins with Queen of Spade who, you know, like you read uh, her community tab and there's a lot. There's a lot of it about me. Okay. Go ahead whenever you're uh, ready, Jesse. Okay, so with all this going on with Queen of Spade, have you considered being off the internet completely? Oh wait, you know what? I wanted I wanted to remind everyone. Uh, so this person has been doxxed, shamed, harassed, falsely accused of pedophilia, mocked for their abuse, attacked for their looks, slandered, defamed, and libeled, accused of partnering with hate groups and troll operations, while dozens of videos have been made against them. So. Okay, and then I lead into you, victim number one. I can victim. go? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I, uh, it's been hard having to deal with a lot of the uh, abuse that I've been put through this last week or so. Um, oh, um, okay, yeah, so... I I know, I guess I know who you are. Um, yeah, because Jesse, the person uh, we're talking about, the person we're talking about is, is you. Because all these things that you accuse other people of doing are the same fucking things that you do to everyone. And every time you get caught, you say, well, they did it to me first. You are a fucking problem. You are an issue. And every problem in your life is self-created by you. And you need to recognize that. Because this is why you've been chased from community to community because you cause issues. I, I have not been chased from community to community. You've oh, had you to haven't. leave two different communities. Okay, Nuggets. 
Okay, so why have you been stalking me for months? Why I'm, are you I'm the stalker? Me, right? You have a whole channel dedicated to me with 75 videos in the last yes. week. And you it's are the obsessed minor, one. You and are you the stalker. So no, no, Jesse, explain um, you're, very, you're being very unprofessional here. No, no, the, the, the unprofessional is you. Um, she seems a little hostile, so I think I, we need to tone it down a bit. Okay, yeah, oh, let's, we need to let's tone, tone it down. down. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Jesse. On your you, stream, that's unrestricted. You have accused, you have accused Nuggies of doxing. You have shamed them, harassed, yes. falsely accused of pedophilia, yes. mocked for their abuse, attacked them for their looks. I know, I know. I can't looks. be doing what other people do to me. That's why I want to move on from this. You do oh, understand. Yeah, because you what do you did to me does not give me the right that is immature and you, unprofessional, and I should not do that to you. So I do want to apologize. Even though that you do that to me, there's no right it's such a for non me to do that. Apology. And you I think that your victims offerable. need to come out you know and that? share their stories. Jesse, you um, do understand that's the exact same thing Queen of Spade does, right? You're doing the exact same. Like, you are Queen of Spade. You're Queen of Spade. You're Muse. You're Jeroon. You're all of these people. Do you not understand that? You're a problem. You're problematic. You have been followed for... People have been making videos about you for how long? Because you're problematic. Do you not understand that? Is this not clear to you? Was it not clear when you left a stream to go stream about a lie that you are problematic? Imagine if Nuggies would have did that I know, about you. Um, because I've been very hurt and there's no excuse to that. I apologize. Who gives a fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. Okay. It's, that's yeah. not an excuse. Um, I have friends and family, but um, I'm not talk I don't want to talk to this child. So this person I'm a is child, not a, but that's I the only person behaving like a child is you. Child. Okay. Address what you're doing, Jesse. Address what you're doing, Jesse. She's gonna go play Animal Crossing. You really think that's what's happening? I don't know. I mean, we did hear her wand a few minutes ago. She might bust that out again. I hope, I hope her dad gets on the phone. I would love that. Jesse. Okay. I'm done. I, I no, Jesse, to everyone please and address, address, um, address what you've done to Nuggies. Address the lies because you have no proof of any of this. Address what you've done. And she doesn't have any proof with me, but yes. No, I there's plenty of proof of what you've done. I there's not plenty of proof. Something Jesse, that Wes there is... has told me that I got wrong without confirming, and she shouldn't have done the same with me. Um, very unprofessional. Um, I think that, uh, you know, the stream is kind of, you know, um, very unprofessional. I do. It was very unprofessional. You left, this, yes. Especially yes. since yes. people in my real life um, watch this kind of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, yes. so, show your proof. You know, we will show your resolve proof. this after the stream. Please call me after this. Okay. And um, yeah, no, I know, I know. <laughs> so. Howard. I'm a coward. Okay. Yeah, you are. I'm a coward because I'm explaining that I was wrong. You're not explaining I, that you're wrong. You're making I'm, excuses. Right. Like, you need to sincerely not, apologize to Nuggies for with, what you've done. I'm not Nuggies. doing this because it's immature, and I do not want to be involved with immature. someone that is, like, Queen of Spade, hostile. You know what you did with Wes, and he has a child, and you do not you give know what you did fuck with about his child. Do you know what you did you to Wes when you stop. sent he him unsolicited nudes? So give it stop. up. Give it up. You don't stop. care. Stop, um, But I do want to call someone right now. Um, Wes, call me after this so we can talk because I know this is a whole show and everything. Um, and like I said, I do want to apologize. There's no excuse to that. And um, I hope she can apologize to me one day, but I know that she's a child, so she won't. Um, but Then you're bullying a child on. and you're obsessed with a child. Oh my fucking God. Um, queen victim number one, you sound a lot like Nuggies. <laughs> A lot. Has anyone ever told you that? It looks like Jesse can't catch a break. Being ambushed not once, but twice, probably didn't feel too good. Especially since Wes, her self-asserted future dom, also attacked her on that stream. I think this was a pretty good ending to the troll, if I do say so myself. So it's time to pack it up. Good job, everyone. We had some great moments in this troll. Hey, remember when Jesse read her wolf porn? That was pretty funny. But it's about time we wrap it up and go home.
said about me um, to people and stuff, and it just hurt me. And I shouldn't have, you know, shouldn't have reacted that way. I'm a woman. We have hormones. And stop so blaming your hormones. Excuses. Stop blaming your hormones. It's not in songs. It's an explanation. You threatened um, me. You threatened me, and threatening do, me doesn't go well. You, you okay, know that. But you threatened. Please. I like when you talk like this to me, but I don't also because you're very serious right now. Um, care about that, and they don't like that. Jesse, I need you to stop. PTSD and Jesse, I need you to stop. Jesse, that woman alone. Jesse, I know that she like rants and raves and everything, but like you are making her rant and rave by reacting. Jesse, I need you to stop. You know your TCAP content. That's what people are subscribed for. Jesse, I promise you. Jesse, listen to me. I need you to stop. I asked you to leave me alone, not to take a break, not to take 24 hours. Okay, I, okay. Well, no, we're no, 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 okay, no, 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 we are Jesse, our future in the later future. I think right now, Jesse, you are acting. No, listen to me. Listen to me. And uh, Miss Jesse, listen, I need you to listen yeah, to me. I need I you to hear that, what I'm saying. I think that, you know, you just need some time because a lot of things are going on with both of our lives. Please stop being so mean. That's all. That's then all. You need to That's listen. All. You need to listen. Listen to me. I need you to listen. Then I need you. I need you to listen. Then yeah. I need you to repeat what I'm. I'm going to say. Okay. We will not be talking again. I need you to repeat that. Because if you don't, Jesse, I not only have proof that I asked you in writing to leave me alone. But I have you calling me and refusing to listen to me when I'm telling you to leave me alone. That is harassment. Okay, I'm we're having a break. That's we are it, not right? having That's a break, I... Jesse. Can we please have like an organized dream. I really want to write some things down. Hold on, let me get a paper. Um, one second. Jesse, is I this... know I should have got it before. Jesse, is this um, a joke? Hold, stop, stop. You're doing it again. Okay. So, you're doing um, it again. You're doing it again, it Jesse. Or is it for eight o'clock? I'm very confused. Jesse, you're okay. doing it again. Hello? You are talking and not listening to me. Hello? Please do not have this child in your stream. She's immature. What she did to your channel, I don't understand how you would forgive her and then everyone's confused people are messaging me right now and saying why is he having her on the stream this is very confusing and i'm like i don't know i mean she's doing her own he's you know i don't know if this is a mental breakdown or what but why would you forgive someone after what they did to us jesse and jesse you definitely shouldn't have you never even said jesse's gonna be on the stream when we we already um made a sworn agreement that we were going to do our stream so please message me when you, you know, take a breather and everything, and then we will be live. Um, I definitely want to discuss some things like 15 minutes before the live, so it's more organized and all that jazz. Um, there's no reason to have a child on your stream. So once you get a chance to breathe and everything, um, let's discuss what we're doing for tonight's stream. All right, see you soon. Oh, so I guess we aren't done yet. Okay, let's start exactly where we left off. Immediately after the troll stream happened, Jesse and Wes spoke on the phone. Hello? Hi. I don't know why you're insisting that was a setup. Once again, you left, and the only person there to step in was Nuggies. Because you guys are calling me, um, Jeroen and Queen of Spade and everything, and saying horrible, horrible things, and, um, and um, now I'm starting to see where everyone gets it from. What do you mean? Nothing. No, I want you to no talk I to me. I think I need a lawyer because I'm being slandered on the internet, and this is I thought I trusted you, and now you um, ruined my life. How and, do, um, wait, how did I how did I ruin your life? Well, yeah, let's 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 not talk about the alcohol. Why why did you abandon the stream like that? Why did you leave in the middle of a stream? I told you I didn't want nuggets on. You set it up. You left. No, 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 no. You left. Yeah, you left. During the middle of the stream, before any of that you even happened, you promised me that wasn't going to happen. You left before, and that's why Nuggies end up coming on. You left. I was by myself for ten minutes, just like last time. Nuggies was the only one willing to step in. She 
she said I can't breathe. I told her to answer the phone because if you can if you can type, you can breathe. Julia told me that, and she's basically a doctor. I'm supposed to be your future sub. Why would you do this to me? Where, where, where is that coming from? I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be your future sub. Why would you do this to me? Why are you engaging with a child? I do not understand what is going on right now. I, I yelled at her. I was, I was, I don't yell at anyone like that. Very insane call. The next one was crazier. Hello? Why, why do you just keep saying that you want to move on? Like, like I, I don't understand. Yeah. What? Yeah, I mean, I privated the video because maybe I'm just confused because I really, in my head, like, I believe that you said that to me in private calls. Like, when I was doing that stream and you kept calling me and you were like, no, say this, say this, say that. Yeah, what I did is I was calling you and telling you, like, to, things to say or, or but I'd never, when you called, when I called you that time, I said, what are you doing? And you said, well, I'm going to accuse, um, I'm going to say that, that Addy is a predator. I'm going to say someone came into uh, my... Well, yeah, I know, I know. I, that, I, you're right, and I made that mistake because tit for tat is not okay. Okay, but so now you can admit you made that mistake, but where was that when you yeah. were just accusing me of it? You were accusing me because of telling you to do it. This, I'm just having this realization now. <laughs> so all I could do is just, you know, keep that video gone. And I don't know, it's just sleep is very important because it may misconstrued your reality you know uh, but like how is it that your reality was misconstrued to the point you've made that same accusation several times over the past two weeks i've cleared it up with you each time and then you go back to making that same accusation that, that's not sleep that's just that's the inability to face reality like you've done this already and and you apologize for it before and then you go right back to doing the same thing that's, oh, that's accusing you because I don't know what the truth is. And that's why, like, I think that you should get a lie detector test, too. So that way everything is just out open. And then from there, everyone could we could all move on and everything because um, I want to move on from this. And it's just I know that, you know, I posted that video today and I shouldn't have. But, um, you know, I want to apologize correctly and um, still have butterflies from when you yelled at me so that, um it's hard to talk because i mean I you know that stuff. that makes it very difficult to have a conversation with you about a serious okay, issue I, when like i am sorry Wes. i will not do that moving forward this could be our uh oh you don't know anything about contracts sorry um this could be our vocal agreement um i know that you don't really understand contracts but a vocal agreement is actually stronger than a handwritten agreement um, especially if it's over the phone, it was just full like nude. Okay. But I, 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 that, you're talking I, I, about the only time I've ever ever done that was in um, last October in my NSFW Discord. That's the only fucking time. No, I, and I I get that, but I, again, I I it's like we're we're in two different books talking about two different things. I'm talking about I know your constant accusing me of of things and. And then backing exactly. off of it, and then I hold really on, hold on, hold on. You cannot, feel... you cannot be listening if you're talking over me again. It's like yes, a sir. constant issue, and I'm not, and and this is not yelling at you to to make you horny. This is like okay. real frustration because okay. you you keep doing. At this point, the troll is pretty much over. As you heard in the last call I played, Jesse started to tell crazier lies. Now that Wes wasn't her friend, nor going to be her future dom, she started to make stuff up about him, but then also still be head over heels for him. For example, here's Wes explaining how it was Jesse who accused Addy of being a pedo with no proof. Yeah, I called you in the middle of your stream several times, uh, and one of those times you said that you were going to make up these claims about Addy. I never would have told you to say that, Jesse. You know I wouldn't have told you to say that. And it was just like a day or, or two after you made up the claim about Joey. And I didn't tell you to say that either. Um, I, I mean, and that is recorded where you just come up with that on your own. And, and I'm shocked. And you repeat it again. But I, I didn't, I wouldn't do that, Jesse. I don't make up claims about child abuse with people. Like, it's crazy that you're trying to put that on me. That's not cool. And here was one of Jesse's responses to his voice message. I just can't wait for all this to be over because I think we have to have a serious discussion about um, 
you know, like uh, what I'm going to do later in the future. Um, I'm hoping maybe this fall, um, then I can move in and actually be your submissive brat and, um, and little <laughs> and, you know, actually have human adult conversations and just leave everything in the past behind. And, um, I think that'd be your perfect brat. I loved when you talked to me in a stern voice. That was, I was, I still, honestly, I still have butterflies just thinking about it when you were like, now get on the channel now, now. And you were talking to me, you were talking to me like a little brat and I fucking loved it so much. I, I loved it. Like, that's why I came back on because I was like butterflies. And if you didn't say anything, if you did not yell at me like that, I wouldn't have came back on. But you were like being my daddy Tom and being like, come back to the live now. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, talk to me like that. I love it. Jesse also started to call Wes and several others pedos. Claimed that Wes and Nuggies were in a relationship and have been for years, despite the fact that the first time they spoke was in April of that year, and several other lies that just weren't true. So I just found out a little information. Wes Most, also known as the Most Worst, where he exploits people and slanders people on his channel. Well, he's taking money from these exploitations of children and people like me that fell victim to his ways. Hey everyone, I feel like I'm coming to an impasse in my life where I'm realizing that I can't talk to people like Wes Most who <laughs> they love child rape and everything and they're very toxic and and I understand that he has a mental illness that's why it's like very hard for me to <laughs> even say anything because he's very severely mentally ill um that's why he has like part-time custody with you know his son and everything it's nothing about oh we just didn't work out it's a whole fucking thing and that's just that's unfortunate for his for a child um but that's what led to the call where wes is telling jesse to leave him alone and jesse continues to push forward i'll play more of that call now also as i said i do want a lie detector test because i don't like all these crazy accusations coming in when I can't defend myself. I mean, it's just way out of control. And like I said, we're about to be in a brat dom relationship. We need to be open and honest with each other. We can't have drama online affecting our relationship. And that is where I said is, you know, when we start this actual, you know, relationship, um, brat and dom, I do not want anything revolved around YouTube at all. Zero. Zero. You know, if I moved in with you, I would want, I do not want to post on YouTube at all whatsoever. Zero. I would do like OnlyFans or any kind of, um, you know, chat site, you know, cam site. I do not want to be, I would not want to post anything inside of your house on YouTube. That's just, my channel would be locked boom um maybe we could do like a contract where i can sign over a password or something and then like it would be like a password like a j w two four x you know what i mean something i can't remember and then you put it away in a lockbox or something we could have like a safe because you obviously have a safe something where we'd have a contract saying that I can't go on YouTube while I live with you and I would appreciate that so much. I just don't want any drama, man. I just want to move on, you know? And people are right. Um, we definitely need to be more organized for our spade streams. Um, definitely can't be all over the place and um, talking over each other, um, which I know that I was just putting on a show um, last time, but... Um, it sounds too con condensed, I would say, when we're both talking at the same time. And, uh, you know, um, because the stream isn't about me, it's about Spade, that's why I wouldn't talk over you. But, um, like, you're my future Dom, so, <laughs> um, you know, I gotta respect you and let you have the mic and then let me talk when you want me to because it's, you know, 
your channel. Um, so let's be more organized and um, also you have con creator control so you could always just hit them, you could always mute someone. And uh, yeah, but I think if we talk about the new, the stuff that she's been going on recently, um, someone sent me a recent stream she did, I think it was like two days ago. Um, they sent it to me last night and that'd be an interesting stream to go over. So what's left to do now? The troll is over. Jesse is very exhausted with all the Celsius live reads and the extortion attempts and the copious amounts of wolf porn. She's also dangerous and like freaking insane. I mean, you'd have to be insane to think that Chris Hansen would be interested to make a video about you. Well, hold on a minute. The Chris Hansen video. Why don't we actually make it? Like, for real. Jesse has done some terrible things, but there's still one more big thing that is yet to be uncovered. Jesse's biggest and most dangerous lie. Her kidnapping story. So why not look into it more and actually make a video? So let's set the scene. Wes goes to Chris Hansen and they decide to add Jesse to a video that was already being made. The video will now be about Coco Berthman and Jesse as they both use their victim status to gain attention. The difference between the two of them was that Coco Berthman was lying at a national level while Jesse was starting her lies much, much smaller in more niche places. On August 2nd, Wes sent a clip to Jesse, and in that clip, it was Hanson and him talking about the video, proving that they were working on it. Well, I, I guess, I mean, if we can find some people who are offended by it, who will talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Then, and then I guess we go ask her, you know, for an interview. Yeah. And it sounds like she's, you know, the kind of horror spectacle of humanity who might do a remote interview. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure she will. For the video, Chris Hansen had sat down with Coco for an interview, so naturally, Jesse gets the same offer. Everything has been collected, all the evidence they have. I would say that they also have Jesse's words and evidence, but since Jesse deletes everything that she puts out, they don't have much from her. So now the question comes, will you have a seat with Chris Hansen? Listen. No, no, no. You listen. To, you need to listen. We're not doing this. You, we're not having people great. lie about me without having a lie detector test. You, then you don't have to be a part of the show. Right. But I'm, but I'm telling you, this no, is no, because that doesn't make any sense. I'm, that does not make any I'm sense. I'm telling you, this is going forward with or without you. I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm giving you an opportunity to set up an interview with Hanson. Are you going to interview with Hanson? Yes or no. I'm not going to, because I'm not going to yell at yes, you. Yes, because I, yes, I can't wait to um, tell him about all the lies that people have said about me. That'd be fun. Okay, so when would you like to speak with Hanson? Now, after this call, Wes asks Jesse about her kidnapping story. More specifically, who exactly it was that kidnapped her. If you haven't noticed, she's been very careful not to mention a name in any of her stories. But if she's alleging something so serious, they need to verify it because Jesse has a history of lying. So she finally gives a name. Corey Lush, and in about 15 minutes, Wes figured out that everything Jesse has said was a lie. We'll go through all the details thoroughly, but just for now, all you need to know is that Corey Lush never actually died in the woods. That was one of the many things Jesse has claimed, that her kidnapper died in the woods in a police standoff. Wes finding out that Corey didn't actually die in the woods made him pretty upset, so he told Jesse about it. Then, of course, Jesse freaked out. First, there was a phone call that happened on the same day as the other one I played. All right, what, what do you want? What do you want to talk about? I, I, you, we, we set a, an interview time. That, that's it. You're interviewing with Chris Hansen. Uh, you made a post talking about this alleged uh, assault. I've reached out to Matthew Lush. I've looked up the GoFundMe and the obituary, and nothing matches up. So he would like to speak with you about that as well. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you what happened, and... Okay, well, I mean, that's just going to traumatize me, so. Well, you know, um, picking up a police report shouldn't traumatize you if it's to prove what you're saying. I don't have a police report. I didn't want a police report because I didn't, because then you I don't would get have to, to have. There, there, you cause don't. Because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have testing and stuff done because I didn't want. You wouldn't. Because I was too traumatized. You, you don't ask. So that I didn't want. There's, that, no, Jesse, you don't understand. It. Like I like I told you, I've been doing this a long time. Even if you didn't want a police, you don't have to do yeah. a, a rape kit, but there yeah. would be a police report. Um, you claim no because they said that they said uh, hey, that they weren't going to do anything about it unless I wanted unless I. You're talking over me. Consented to. You're talking to over that. me. No, there would no, be a police report you're regardless. You're talking over me technically. 
You, All right, can you tell me just what time, what date, what day I, and time already, and everything? I so already that did. Way. Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern, and be prepared to answer some of these questions. You okay, said, you, sounds, sounds groovy. No, well, Goodbye. Then Jessie made a new video where she once again tells her kidnapping story. This version is the most detailed by far. Hi, this is Jessie, and welcome back to my channel. I would like to clarify something and actually talk about my real story. I have had the real information from talking to people in my life, from doing Google research. I made the mistake of what I thought really happened. And since it happened such a long time ago, it's been years, my mind kind of just maybe um, manufactured what actually happened to me. Um, so I would like to discuss that. Um, it isn't going to be easy, but it has to be said. When I was in middle school, I was part of the scene crowd. I was on MySpace and I was very known in the local community. And I was very young, but... Um, so... I started talking to someone that had a scene kid pic profile picture and we talked, you know, for a while, for days. Then he said he wanted to meet me. So of course, my parents would never let me go out with a stranger online. And I decided to sneak out of the house. And from there, a van pulled up. It was a group of guys. I went into the van willingly because I thought that he was in the van. So I'm in there, I'm in the van, and um, they asked me if I want a, um, a drink. And I say, well, where is, um, let's call him um, Joe. I don't remember his actual name. It was long time, it was a way a long time ago. I can't remember um, the whole catfish profile. I just, I remember the face of the catfish profile and everything. And it was like a Google image of this guy who was like the mo one of the most popular scene kids, but I didn't know at the time. I was too young. Um, I think his name is Billy. Um, so I asked where this person Joe was and they said, he's at the house. We're just picking you up. And um, they, then they asked me again, would you like a drink? They gave me a, a drink and um, now I know it was a four logo as adult. And you know, um, I had four logos before many years later. Now I know it was a four logo. I was not drugged, not that I think I was. Um, I did drink a little bit. Um, I was like, oh, this is gross or whatever. And they were like, oh, it's just an energy drink. So I don't know, um, at the time we, people, we drank monsters and stuff. So we like, that's just kind of what we did. And so I just didn't think of anything of it. Now, um, so I, I drank a little bit and I really did not drink a lot, but I definitely did get intoxicated. And that was my first time. Um, and I felt weird and everything. I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't know what to think. I was kind of just going in the moment and it was just all happening at once. So we um, were driving. We went to this house in Shirley, New York, um, which is a town away from me. And we uh, approached, we went, we were approaching the house and um, I go inside and the guys were like, okay, we're, we're gonna leave you two alone. And um, so I go in the house and um, this man, that was not Joe was there and I asked where Joe is and he laughed and he said <laughs> that's me and I said you don't look like him like I'm telling you it it was horrifying and I didn't know what catfish was at the time like I as a kid I just didn't understand what the fuck was actually going on so um you know I like I said I was intoxicated because I was drinking uh, I drank from that cup I thought it was like an energy I thought it was a really bad tasting energy drink and it was late at night and I wanted to, I thought I was just about to meet this guy and I was really tired. So I thought, you know, it would wake me up and end up, I was drunk for the first time. So I, 
I really do not want to, I really don't want to talk about, um, what happened from there. Um, I don't want to get into the details, but, um, so I was asked, I was pleading and crying and saying, I just wanted to go home. And he said, don't worry, you'll go home tomorrow. Which is indeed cat kidnapping. My parents did not know where I was. So, um, after it happened, the guys that the guys from the van came in and what I from what I remember is they didn't know that I could hear them. They went out of the room and they closed the door and um they said, Are you are you fucking this little girl? Because she looks really, really young. And um He's like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And they were like, you know, this is something that you do and everything. And um, you're doing this in our house. and um, Which is very confusing because these people brought me there. So. I've really that this is like I said, so I was I was drunk at the time. This is my first time drinking. I never even intended to drink. So, um, they were smoking cigarettes and I was in the room, I was bleeding everywhere. Um, he told me to get in the shower. So I, um, washed up. I was so intoxicated that I just remember tripping back into the bedroom just like just so fucking confused um and hurt and in pain and um like i said i, I was intoxicated so um i passed out the next day he woke me up and He said, you're going home. I got into the van and I was screaming, crying my eyes out. They pulled over and they said, get out. It was in the middle of Shirley, New York. So I was crying in the street and this guy came out of the street, um, on, not of the street, on um, an apartment, and he says, what's going on, what's wrong? And I said, nothing, nothing, nothing. And he said, something is clearly wrong. I could tell something is wrong. Do you need me to call the police? What do you, what is going on? Um, you should, you're all alone. Um, how old are you? And I, you know, I was, I said my age and then um, he said, okay, I'm not going to take a step closer to you. If you need help, if you want to call the police, you can borrow it. You, you, I, I, I'll give you a, I'll, I'll give you a phone. You might want to come inside because you're on in the street and something bad could happen to you. He didn't know something bad already just fucking happened to me. So I go in and um, it's. A group of guys like partying and they, they were like don't worry here's they gave me a blanket they're like don't worry we're not going to touch you we're, don't worry about it we're gonna be all the way over here on the couch call 911 do what you have to do I um called my parents I was really ashamed they took me home they asked me where I was um I was very shut out about it for a while. Um, it's 
so I did not do a police report. I didn't do anything. Um, I told them days later and like I said, um, it was my choice not to do anything about it because it, I was so traumatized, which people are saying it doesn't make any sense um, because you would get things done. Um, that's just that's just how it fucking went. Now, when I went to school, um, this was a couple months later. People were saying, um, talking about There were other girls involved, not in my school. They said that it happened. Um, there was a news story. I didn't see it. I just heard people talking about it. I was kind of very shut out. I didn't want to talk about it. Didn't want to look, didn't want to know anything. Did not want to, definitely did not want to talk about it. Um, so from there, I thought he actually killed him. He killed himself after confessing about multiple girls because he did confess. But from what I'm gathering is that it was an attempt and he didn't actually succeed until years later. Um, that's the story. There was no standoff. There was, uh, From what I was told is that he confessed before he killed himself. And, you know, I don't know why my brain um, really messed the story up. Um, so, um, I, like I said, I'm sorry for um, telling the story and it wasn't how it was and it's definitely a memory problem um but now that hearing what actually happened now I can I know exactly um uh, that it was somehow it was in my head now I did not lie about this this was something that I actually thought that happened and I don't know which is more disturbing. I really fucking don't. And but I apologize for that. Um, I only wanted to do this about my story because I feel sick that I got the story fucking wrong. I was young when it happened. Um, like I said, I started smoking weed. I, it's just, it's a lot. So something happened in my brain where I thought something happened that didn't, and now I know the facts, and then now I know that this man killed himself years later. Um, but it just, it, I still do not understand because in my head, I remember being in school and people coming up to me and telling me. So it, it I, it's like almost like I'm in a different world or something and it's really hard for me to process, but I have to process the truth. And I don't fucking understand why I have these memories. Um, That's something I'm going to have to process. Um. Since Jesse is completely scared of this Hanson video, she also uses this opportunity to talk about pretty much everything else she did. I want to move forward because there's a lot of misunderstandings. There's that green frog channel um, that is telling me to kill myself and all that stuff. And I'm a strong person. I don't. Green frog did no such thing. The only thing on that channel were re-uploads of Jesse's old content. And own up and take accountability. But you know, I'm a different person. As I stand here today, I'm taking accountability. I made people uncomfortable. I got stories mixed up. I accused people of things. I, um, I 
I've gone too fast on my channel and I want to move forward and I understand that you know, some people won't forgive me but also saying kill yourself and I hope she kills herself and all this crazy stuff. It's not appropriate for you two. No one told Jessie to kill herself. If they did, she hasn't shown any evidence of the person doing it. At this stage, if you were truly being attacked, harassed, and slandered to the point where you want lawyers involved, I expect you to show me something. I was only sending nudes to people in my server. Never anyone in the TCAP community, the anti-without a crystal ball community, no one of that sort. Just people that were in my Discord server. I didn't have any other ways of communication, just that server. This is not true. Wes was never in Jesse's server and received several unsolicited pictures. My DMs are open and... <sighs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good. Celsius. Comes in a variety of flavors, including in seltzers, teas, and sodas. I'm drinking orange and it tastes just like a sparkling drink. Try one today at a store near you. Celsius. Live fit. All right. Ending on kind of hopefully a positive note. Um. No meme, no joke. She gave an authentic Celsius live read in the middle of her apology. I hope you get that Celsius sponsorship because you're really working for it. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would Jesse have a seat with Chris Hansen? Jesse actually answered this question in a video she posted on the same day she posted her apology video. Do not engage with Westmost. He pretends that he's in the BDSM community. He's a danger to people who want to explore. There are people that want to explore and he wants to hurt people. That is what he does. He's not a safe person to play with. Stay clear of that person. I cannot believe that he, that's what he does. He sends women vibrators and dildos in a community where you talk about predators. Why would a guy send women vibrators and tell them to put the dildo inside of them so they are stretched out for his big dick? Like, it's so, it's so inappropriate, man. It really fucking is. It's wild. Um... After the interview and everything, just not going to engage. And then people are going to sit through my videos because this is the most genius part, right? People are going to sit through my videos hoping that I say something, hoping that I talk about it. They're going to give me like massive views. <laughs> and I'm just going to be doing whatever. I'll fucking, uh, it's, it's great. It's great. Um, maybe I'll go back to um, horoscopes, but uh, like playing video games and everything, it's going to be so much fun. Because, you know, um, people are sitting through my videos. I mean, people kind of have always done that. But now it's going to be um, bigger because people will see me on Chris Hansen's channel. And then they'll go to my channel and they'll be like, just curious. Because um, it back backfired. Um, you know, he thought that Onision was going to lose all of his subscribers. And then he, he ends up having even stronger fan base where people are actually supportive and... Um, Yeah. Um. At last, we finally reached the day of the Chris Hansen interview. August 8th, 2022, Jessie has a seat with Chris Hansen and she tells her kidnapping story again. You have made allegations in the past that you yourself have been a victim or survivor of predatory mm. behavior. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's actually why I started watching um, To Catch a Predator because I really like stings and everything, catching people that were just like this person who catfished me. And what happened in the instance where this person catfished you? I was on MySpace and they pretended to be uh, like an emo scene kid. So we talked for a couple weeks and then he asked if I wanted to, well, he didn't ask. He said, let's meet in person. And uh, from there, I, you know, I wasn't allowed to um, like I had very strict parents, so I wasn't allowed to go out past seven o'clock at night and everything. So it was kind of like I snuck out. So that was that was on me. I did sneak out um, to meet this person, but end up being um, several guys, which were his roommates, um, Corey's roommates, and they picked me up in a white van and they uh, were, you know, brought me to uh, 
that the house in Shirley. The house, and, and where did this occur, Jesse? Where it happened in Shirley, New York. Shirley, New York, and that's out on Long Island. Yeah, it's a town away from me. About, yeah. In in by Corey, whom do you mean by Corey? Corey Lush, which is Matthew Lush's brother. Right, Matthew being a famous YouTube content creator, and Corey having been very popular on MySpace and some other areas of the internet. In in how did you know that this was Corey, and how old was Corey at the time, allegedly? Uh, see, I don't remember. I, he did make like a. It, this happened a while ago, so it's kind of just like all fuzzy in my head. But I remember him saying, "Oh, um, like I'm 28, and um, I'm not 16," because I thought that I was talking to a little a guy that was a little bit older than me. Um, like I thought, and end up he was like laughing and obviously saying, "You know, that's not me. I used a fake profile." And uh, yeah, and that's kind of just where it went from there. Um, I didn't. He said his. He was bragging about his brother um, before. It, uh, happened and everything and um yeah and he knew because i was following him on myspace and it was kind of just like public knowledge so and, and uh, what, yeah, what he took year, advantage what, of that what year did this happen what year did the uh... i don't remember i do remember it was seventh grade i can't i might have said that i was 12 13 but i don't do math correctly and i will say that a hundred percent was seventh grade and it was be right before high school okay and so what year would have that been 2006, 2007? Oh, I really don't know. I was graduated in 2011. So um, minus four would be... Maybe 2006, 2007, probably? Maybe. About okay. there. And, and mm -hmm. what happened in this incident? Well, uh, when I was in the car, I thought that I was drinking a Monster, and it was a Four loco. and Monsters always tasted really bad for me. So, but uh, since it was late at night and I was really tired, I wanted to be awake and just like have fun. I wasn't going there to hook up because first of all, I was a virgin. I was a girl, I didn't know. And I was just excited to be like with someone from my space and everything. And um, they gave me a monster. I mean, they gave me what I thought was a monster, but what I know now is a Ford Loco. And of course the next day I was hungover, never drank before. So I didn't, I didn't know what was actually going on kind of thing. But you know, years later having drinking experiences, I was like, this is, I drank a Ford Loco. That's what it was. Um, so I ended up being intoxicated by the time we got to the house. Cause it was about a 15, 20 minute drive, I would say. And from there they walked me, well, they walked me to the door and then they were saying like, oh, we're going to go. Um, you guys have fun. And um, from there, that is when he, um, I was like, oh, you know, where is whatever his name was on my space site, which I don't recall. But um, he said, oh, that's me. I was using a fake catfish profile. And well, he didn't say catfish. I was using a fake profile. So, uh, yeah. And, and, then, and what, what happened in that house? Kind of just... Jesse, what happened in the house? Um, well... I mean, I was after like the whole discussion and kind of just making fun of um, how like I was kind of stupid for falling for the trick and everything. Um, he uh, took me into the bedroom like he actually like physically carried me into the bedroom. Um, I do remember like exactly how the house was set up. I remember everything about the house. Um, there was like a kitchen. It was very small. There was a kitchen um, and then there was a um a hallway and next to the room was the bathroom. I believe it was on the left side if I, or it might have been on the right side. I don't remember, but I do remember the bathroom was right outside the door. Um, and I was on the bed and um, he, ha he held me down from, my, uh, I was on my stomach. And you're saying that he assaulted you sexually? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for, for it must have been like two hours, I would say, because uh, just from um, like the timing and everything, I didn't have a cell phone, so I couldn't call for help or anything. This was way back in the day, so I, I didn't have a cell phone. My parents would never give me a phone anyway. So you, you think this was either 2006, 2007, you were either 13 or 14. How old was, mm -hmm. how old was this fellow? I believe he was, because I, I remember him laughing and saying like, oh, I'm 28 or whatever, right? And um, 
he was, I, I don't know for sure because he lied and other girls in my school were telling me that he's lied to other girls and, and did similar things to girls older than me. Um, so uh, with alcohol though, but I didn't know, like I didn't willingly drink alcohol because I really didn't know. I thought I was drinking a monster to stay awake and just hang out and kind of like, you know, um, have fun. I, Cause I wasn't, I didn't even know what sex was or anything like that. Um, so I, that was the least thing on my mind. I would maybe, I don't know what I actually thought was going to happen, but maybe like go over and hang out and just chill and talk. Did you report this to your parents or to police? Um, so no, we didn't report it to the, my, uh, we didn't report it to the police. My parents didn't know, um, from there I begged them, like my uncle, um, spoke to people and long, he spoke to a cop and everything to find more information and how Corey had, um, DUIs and everything. Um, so he was like known to not be, um, like a stable person. And, um, I didn't want a police report. I didn't want testing done. I was too traumatized. I, did, I really did not want to talk about it as much as I could. Um, and my, so my parents put me in therapy. So, um, yeah, I did not want the police involved, even though they were informed. I, they was, it was up to me to want to do something. And I said, I really didn't want to do it also because Matthew Lush was big at the time. And I thought this was going to be like a huge, huge freaking thing. And I really didn't want it to be like, I really just wanted to like it for not to happen, you know? So you, you, you told your parents. Yes. And did they tell the police? No. Um, so what it is, is my, um, like my dad told my uncle and my uncle, um, works in a jail. He, um, for AA meetings and everything. So he, like, he has connections with law enforcement and there he asked them what they should do. And, um, since days have gone by and I didn't get a testing or anything like that, um, they said it would just be my word and that I could take him to court, but it would be a whole process. And I really didn't want that to happen. Um, yeah. So it, it never officially got reported to police, but you told your parents who told your uncle who works in a jail, who, uh, yeah, I didn't tell him, but something my dad to told him. Yeah. Got it. And whatever happened to this guy who allegedly assaulted you? So from what I heard is that he was struggling with depression and I thought he killed himself. I heard rumors um, of standoff and all these crazy things. I from there I didn't stand off when you say him. when you when you say standoff, what do you mean? What happened? Like he I, what I was told is that he confessed to um, assaulting multiple women and then he shot himself in Shirley in Shirley's woods um there's like a specific location that people like we grow up with you and know where it is but um that's what people were telling me I don't know rumors always flew around in my school about crazy things um so, so you, you don't know you don't know if this is true or not well now I know it's not true because of um what people have sent me showing proof that he actually killed himself and I believe 2018 or something which is wild because I was never told that at that time I thought he was a dead person um my whole existence in my 20s right but the story you've told in the past is that he was cornered by police mm -hmm. for this incident and, and others and that he confessed to this mm -hmm. incident and others and then killed himself in front of police in the woods but that's not what happened right he right. ultimately and i want that clarified because he, he i said did that on my channel that was incorrect. 2018. yes right why did you tell the other story earlier because I think that there's there was a something that happened with my brain that's more of trauma related that I've done um, more research on that it happens it's actually more it happens more significantly for people who are dealing with things that are related to like a famous person where they block out things and then they're told different things happened and then in their mind it becomes their reality um, it's a very common thing um, and you know it's very unfortunate because that you know that's just i really thought that and i said that to people and um but now i have to clarify that that's not you know what actually happened and um you know work on that do you, do you think it was fair to to tell the story originally the way you did and now to back off it i mean the allegations are serious jesse you, you, right. what you're saying is but that that's this what I fellow now dead from suicide Mm -hmm. uh, sexually assaulted you and th there's no evidence and again i take 
this very seriously because sexual assault is a very serious allegation. I yeah. spend a lot of my time professionally going after predators who try to do this. It's a large right. commitment ethically and journalistically on my part. Mm -hmm. And so I want to ask you this with all the appropriate sensitivity, but nothing seems to add up here in this case. You don't believe that actually happened at all and everything like i i want well, to I don't, it's not it's not I, it's not what i believe it, it's it's you know the issue is if somebody is lying about being a victim or survivor to get attention for whatever reason it that wouldn't make any sense the, why would someone do that it, it takes away well because they want attention but it takes away why would Real that attention. Chris, no, let me, let me no finish. Woman, let no me finish. woman wants attention from a sexual assault or lying about a sexual assault. No woman. That is horrific. That's the worst thing that a human being could go through. And for you to say that didn't happen to me and I'm just making it I, up I'm just, is I'm very, just saying very that there's, a, that there's a lack of evidence there. Now that we have that out of the way, we can finally look at all the different kidnapping stories, take a closer look at them, and see why they all fall apart. To make sure everyone is on the same page, I'll explain one last time why we're doing this. Typically, it's not a good idea to pick at the story of someone's trauma or abuse. Like if someone came and told me about a traumatic event that happened in their past, I wouldn't sit there and nitpick the entire story because it's not my place to say. However, the situation with Jessie is different because, A, this was the reason why she was so sexual, why she was in the chats making sex comments, and why she makes people uncomfortable. Why she sends tons of unsolicited nudes and why she's a sex pest is because of this story. And B, she's told this story many, many times, differently each time, in many different places, so it's open for criticism. If she told this story once, or she told it multiple times but stayed consistent, there wouldn't really be a problem. But she has told this story many times and it has differed every time. And if you mix that with the fact that Jesse is known for lying or exaggerating things, then people are going to start looking at the flaws and picking the story apart. The major beats of the story stay consistent for the most part. Jesse spoke to who she thought was a regular person around her age on MySpace. This guy wanted to meet Jesse, so she snuck out, entered a white van that was full of guys, was given some alcohol and taken to a location in Shirley, New York. She was sexually assaulted by a man who Jesse would claim to be Corey Lush. Corey Lush was a kid popular on MySpace and he was brothers with Matthew Lush who is a large YouTuber. Jesse got dropped off the next day in some ghetto and luckily was able to call her parents to go home. Looking at this story closer, it makes absolutely no sense. Jessie was 13 years old, part of the steam crowd, whatever that is, and she was very well known in this community. One day, she started talking to a guy who we'll just call Joe. Joe, according to Jessie, was 18 years old. We've barely started and there's already a problem. Jessie's age has constantly changed, going from very very young to as old as 15. Joe's age also differs between 16 and 18. But um, the other thing, I was kidnapped when I was 13. Oh. Um, yeah, buy a catfish on MySpace. They were, um, they had a fake picture and everything. He said that they were 18 and like, I like older men. <laughs> so, um, he did make like a, it, this happened a while ago. So it's kind of just like all fuzzy in my head. But I remember him saying, oh, um, like I'm 28 and, um, I'm not 16. Cause I thought that I was talking to a little, a guy that was a little bit older than me. Um, I was a child. So now people keep saying, um, oh, he was 16 and he told me he was older right he was like making a he was laughing i thought he was a 16 year old um like emo kid he uh luckily jesse swears that all of this took place in seventh grade so we'll just use 13 years old for her jesse and joe would strike up a conversation and talk for a few days joe then said that he wanted to meet up with jesse jesse had very strict parents but she still really wanted to go out so she snuck out of the house in the four hour Addy stream, she just told her parents that she was going outside. And uh, from there, I, you know, I wasn't allowed to, um, like I had very strict parents, so I wasn't allowed to go out past seven o'clock at night and everything. So it was kind of like I snuck out. So that was, that was on me. I did sneak out um, to meet this person. And that's how I was kidnapped because I went to meet them somewhere in town. Um, like to my parents saying that I was just going outside and once Jesse successfully got outside, she was greeted to a white van full of men, and she decided to go inside to figure out if Joe was amongst these men. 
Now I'll pull out one of my super secret surprise tools, that being an interview with Steve McRae. We'll discuss this interview later, but in this, Steve says that Jesse was forcibly taken. She blames some of this, and it's weird, she blames some of her oversexuality on the movie It, saying that when she was three years old, uh, the babysitter showed her the movie It, and, and that caused some sexual trauma within her it, it, instead of, El yeah, well, that's, you probably don't know because it's, it's a lie. And then the, uh, the, the second one was that, um, she was kidnapped when she was, I, I knew that so, story. Yeah. I knew so that story. can you, maybe, can you help do you, what, how, what portion of the story do you know? All I know is that she said that she was, when she was young, very young, she was taken by force, mm -hmm. um, by someone sexually raped. And then a couple days later, the guy committed suicide. This is important to note because the reason why Wes even bothered to interview Steve was because Jesse thought that Steve would be the best person to speak in order to help her case. Once inside the van, Jesse was given a drink of something that tasted nasty to her. She believed that this was some sort of energy drink to keep her up, but instead it was actually for loco. And even though she didn't have a large amount, she got intoxicated. Jesse and the men finally reach a house that is somewhere in Shirley, New York. They walked her to the house and the men that drove her decided to leave Jesse alone with Joe. Now Jesse is in front of Joe and before any sexual assault happens, Jesse asks Joe, are you Joe? And he says, ha ha ha, that's me. Joe reveals that he actually isn't Joe and is in fact Corey Lush that he isn't 18 but actually 28 years old. He bragged about how dumb Jesse is for falling for this trick, bragged about how his brother, Matthew Lush, is a famous YouTuber, and at some point, Jesse figured out that the men that dropped her off weren't Corey's friends, but actually his roommates. This is kinda strange. So for starters, I don't actually know if this is where Jesse figured out that the men in the van were Corey's roommates. She only said it one time during the Hansen interview and that's it. And I just thought it was weird because how how did she know about that? So that was that was on me. I did sneak out um, to meet this person, but end up being um, several guys, which were his roommates, um, Corey's roommates, and they picked me up in a white van. It's also weird that Corey would tell everything to this child like he is an evil villain, especially connecting himself to his brother. Who knows, it could just be an ego thing or something. This also is the only answer Jesse gave to the question, how did you know that it was Corey Lush who did it? And, and how did you know that this was Corey and how old was Corey at the time, allegedly? Uh, see, I don't remember. I, he did make like a, it, this happened a while ago, so it's kind of just like all fuzzy in my head, but I remember him saying, oh, um, like I'm 28 and um, I'm not 16 because I thought that I was talking to a little a guy that was a little bit older than me. Um, like I thought it end up he was like laughing and obviously saying, you know, that's not me. I used a fake profile. And uh, yeah, and that's kind of just where it went from there. Um, I didn't he said his he was bragging about his brother um, before it uh, happened and everything. And um, yeah, and he knew because I was following him on MySpace and it was kind of just like public knowledge. Also, here's another handy dandy surprise tool. Months later in November, Jesse would go after Matthew Lush in a video. And in said video, she said that Corey Lush would talk about Matthew all the time. If Matthew Lush wants to say that his brother never sexually assaulted me as a child, if he wants to say that never happened, defend his brother, or maybe he was blindsided. He also lived in California at the time, because at that time he was like, oh yeah, my brother lives in California and he's, he has a YouTube channel and everything. And that is how we knew about him. He always talked about his brother. So when did this happen? Did he talk about Matthew while you were at the house and kidnapped? He couldn't have talked about it on MySpace because that wouldn't make sense. Why would Corey pretend to be Joe only to then talk about his famous brother when Corey himself was also famous on MySpace? Moving forward, this is where the sexual assault happens and it lasts about two hours. Afterwards, Jesse asks Corey if she can go home and he said that he'll take her home tomorrow. Apparently they made a mess, so Corey made Jesse get in the shower while he cleaned the sheets. And afterwards, Jesse was still drunk and passed out in the room. Now in this time span, while she was either in the room or in the shower, the men from the van, aka Corey's roommates, came back to address Corey. They asked Corey, hey, are you having sex with this little girl? And he said, don't worry about it. And they said, you need to stop doing this in our house. So they aided him several times in kidnappings. No one spoke up or did anything. So when it all came down and I actually met this person and then the people who were living with him, it was like friends or whatever, they're like leaving. And when they came back, they're like, 
you slept with this girl? Like, this girl's, like, intoxicated. I remember hearing, like, this girl's intoxicated and everything. After being out for who knows how long, Jessie wakes up and is told finally that she gets to go home. While in the van, she's crying, bawling her eyes out. Corey or the men or whoever dropped Jessie off in the middle of Shirley, New York in some sort of ghetto. She wanders around for a bit and then a man steps out from his apartment. This random guy asks Jessie if she was okay. Jessie says yes, but it's clear that she isn't, so the guy gives her a choice. She can either come inside and use the phone or she can go on her way. She accepts the offer and she comes inside the house. There are a few people having a party but they keep their distance. She's given a blanket and the phone and she calls her parents to come pick her up. I don't have anything to say about this part, but I do find it funny that none of this came out in the Hanson interview. Like this entire part of the story is completely omitted. Okay, things are going to get really weird now. So Jessie gets picked up by her parents. In the introduction call, it's implied that she either walked home or got another ride. But like, you know, everything, I end up being returned to my parents and um, I um, called my parents. I was really ashamed. They took me home. They asked me where I was. Um, they asked where she was, and she just says that she was at another friend's house. She was recluse and kept the situation to herself for a couple of days, but then ended up telling everyone. Jessie has stated that her parents did call the police. And, uh, and then well, I wasn't missing. Like, I wasn't reported missing. Everything mm -hmm. What happened to me was reported, but I wasn't reported missing at all. Um, like, my parents, like, it didn't come out. Like, you know what I'm saying? No one was looking for me or anything like that. Um, they just knew I was gone, and then the next day, I returned. Well, they didn't even call the police when you didn't come mm. home? That's not what I'm trying to say. They did. But it, it, I'm saying the news didn't say anything about a missing girl. Oh, okay. But they also didn't call the police. Did you report this to your parents or to police? Um, so no, we didn't report it to the, my, uh, we didn't report it to the police. My parents didn't know. Um, you, you told your parents? Yes. And did they tell the police? No. Um. We'll go with the latter because it continues our story. So they chose not to report it to the police. This makes no sense because Jessie makes a big stink about her family knowing about this. Like her parents were crying and they were running and telling the whole family and even her grandma knew, but no one called the police. They were like, oh, well, we don't like your attitude staying in your room. And then I just blurted out what happened. Um, and then from there they were crying and they were calling all the whole family telling them what happened um, And I was like, please don't call the police and Someone will say that didn't happen when they weren't there and it did and then there are witnesses and everything Everything that happened with my friends family to school going to And my um Imagine my fucking grandma. Imagine having a grandma knowing that you were assaulted as a child. And, and then people got spoiled. What they did instead is that they spoke to an uncle. And that uncle works at AA meetings or something. And he was able to get in touch with the cop. So technically they did report it without reporting it. I begged them like... My uncle um, spoke to people and long, he spoke to a cop and everything to find more information and how Corey had um, DUIs and everything. Um, so he was like known to not be um, like a stable person. My, um, like my dad told my uncle and my uncle um, works in a jail. He, um, for AA meetings and everything. So he, like he has connections with law enforcement and there he asked them what they should do. And, um, since days have gone by and I didn't get a testing or anything like that, um, they said it would just be my word and that I could take him to court, but it would be a whole process and I really didn't want that to happen. Um, yeah. The uncle spoke with a cop and that somehow led to them figuring out that Corey was an unstable person with a ton of DUIs and stuff. So they find out that Jesse got sexually assaulted and they find out that the person who did it is a dangerous person who's still out there, but they kind of don't do anything. The final part of this story is a little bit confusing, but it is the best part, so please try to stay with me. Three days later, after everything went down, Corey was being pursued by cops into Shirley Woods. He confessed to what he did, aka the sexual assault, in a police standoff and then shot himself, ending his own life. Like from there, um, so then he ended up, uh, since the police were coming after him, uh, 
about three days later, he was in the um, woods and he uh, he had a standoff with the police and shot himself. Wow. And then the, uh, the the second one was that um, she was kidnapped when she was. I, I knew that so, story. Yeah, I knew that. So, story. can you maybe can you help? Do you, what how what portion of the story do you know? All I know is that she said that she was when she was young, very young, she was taken by force mm -hmm. um, by someone, sexually raped, and then a couple days later, the guy committed suicide. Despite this story being the craziest thing I've ever heard, it did not make national news. It did make local news, News 12 Long Island to be exact. And apparently they did speak about Jesse's case, but they couldn't mention her name because she was a minor. So that, that must have been a huge news story. It wasn't a huge news story, but it was uh, like in the, um, like it was on News 12 Long Island. Was it? Yeah, things on the internet, but. Well, yeah, I mean like a story like that where a kidnapping and then a, someone uh someone killing themselves in a standoff in the woods like that i'm surprised that wouldn't that would normally be national um, um i i wouldn't think so because a lot of fucking shit happens and you know a lot of things oh yeah go but like unnoticed by the way when wes heard this for the first time he couldn't find the news segment that jesse was talking about jesse was also told by other people that his youtuber brother matthew lush was disgusted because Corey had also done this to other women but Matthew was also problematic himself. His brother is a famous YouTuber. Really? Yeah, so that's what's even more crazy. And then because his brother was, apparently this is what people told me, that his brother was disgusted and because he did this to other girls. And um, wow. it was like a whole big thing. And um, he's like got off YouTube for a while and came back. This mm -hmm. YouTuber, basically, he's very problematic and everything. He... Um, I would say he would be like as problematic as like Austin Jones, um, oh. problematic. Yeah. yeah, but he's gay. But so he did with boys. But so that's if I really told you and you looked into everything, you would probably find some things on the Internet. Now, take everything you just heard from this last section and forget about it, because Wes told Jesse that Corey died in 2018. So she had to completely rework this section of the story. So now instead of this happening days later, it happened months later. This was a couple months later. There still definitely was a news story. Jesse never saw it though. They said that it happened. Um, there was a news story. I didn't see it. I just heard people talking about it. I was kind of very shut out. I didn't want to talk about it. Didn't want to look, didn't want to know anything. Did not want to, definitely did not want to talk about it. There were other girls involved, but they didn't go to Jesse's school. There were other girls involved, not in my school. Jessie was very shut out and she really, really didn't want to know anything about the situation. But she does believe that he was killed and swears that he did confess. So from there, I thought he actually killed, he killed himself after confessing about multiple girls because he did confess. Where did she get any of this information from if she was so shut out about it? Now, because of what Wes told her, she says that there was no standoff at all, but there still was an attempt to kill himself. That's the story. There was no standoff from what I'm gathering is that it was an attempt and he didn't actually succeed until years later. Again, how would she have gathered any of this information? It's fine if you have a memory problem. My main problem is the confidence. She was so sure of the first story with Corey dying in the woods, but then she completely jumped ship so quickly. And after all of that, none of this matters compared to the biggest problem in the story. Everything could have been true up to this point, and what I'm about to tell you would still shatter this half-baked story to pieces. Corey Lush, the man who Jesse claimed sexually assaulted her, couldn't have possibly have done it because when Jesse was 13, he was 15. Corey also never died in a police standoff after confessing to sexually assaulting many people including Jesse. He died in 2018 after taking his own life. The reason why Jesse created two different endings for a kidnapping story is because when Wes found out what I too found, like a GoFundMe dedicated to paying for Corey's funeral expenses, or a video of Matthew Lush crying because his brother passed. I miss my little brother <laughs> so much. <laughs> he confronted Jesse about it because it's such a shitty thing to do. And one last special fun fact, Jesse was still friends with Corey Lush on MySpace years after the fact. After this allegation against Corey Lush, did you stay in contact with him? Oh, no. No, I was, I was traumatized. I, I, that's the last thing I would want to do. But you were still friends on MySpace in 2010. 
I don't know. I, I can't, well, I can't I'm, think I'm telling that you that, that, that we found that. So if the okay, allegation so yeah, was I, in I don't, 2006, why are you still friends with him in 2010? Hmm? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, this happened a long time ago. I mean, you know, I might have some things kind of um, different than how I thought it happened. Um, Jesse had no answer either. To rule out the unlikely possibility that Corey was an underage mastermind with a white van and a crew of underlings ready to do his bidding, I asked his brother Matthew. He was understandably shocked to hear the accusations being made against Corey, and he confirmed two things. One, Corey lived with his mom in 2007 and was a sophomore in high school. Two, not only did he not have a white van in 2007, he didn't even have a bike, as it had been stolen some time earlier. And Jesse was replying to Corey on Twitter. In conclusion, Jesse is a liar, dangerous, a shitty person who thought she could get away with being the victim, and most importantly, Jesse is basically Arby's. Yeah, I think I proved that last point pretty well. As for the Chris Hansen interview, Jesse's big lie wasn't the only thing discussed. This actually served as the perfect conclusion to Jesse's World Season 1, a nice culmination of everything we've been through so far. Hello. Hi, Jesse. It's Chris. How are you? I will be better after this. Yeah? If somebody is lying about being a victim or survivor to get attention for whatever reason, it that takes away... That wouldn't make any sense. It, Why would someone do that? It, it, it takes away... Well, because they want attention, but it takes away... Why would... Real Chris, attention. No, let me, fin let me no finish. One, let no me finish. woman wants attention from a sexual assault or lying about a sexual assault. No woman. That is horrific. That's the worst thing that a human being could go through. And for you to say that didn't happen to me and I'm just making it I, up I'm just, is I'm very, just saying very that there's a, I'm talking mm -hmm. about the allegations that you have made against other people about being pedophiles and predators and committing crimes like sexual harassment and sexual assault. When it appears that you, by sending unsolicited nudes, would be the one carrying out some sort of harassment here, including a nude that was sent to a minor. Okay, so we can get into that. Uh, absolutely. The only nudes that I've ever sent were in Discord from people that were in my NSFW server. And Surgeon General can verify that it was 18 plus server. You had to mo you had to message a moderator of your um, social media and to prove that you are of 18. Not that I want anyone that's younger than 20 in my NSFW Discord. He was a sock account. How would I know that of his age? Um, the only only thing I knew was that he verified that he was 18 with a moderator in, and then he um, checked off a box. Now, um, getting to that in his on social media, he is so he's a minor, right? So he's lying on social media about his age to have these profiles and to um, cause havoc and troll people. No, no. I'm, and, what I'm, the, the question that I'm asking is: Have you ever sent an unsolicited? sexually suggestive or nude photo of yourself to anyone yes i have in my lifetime yes i have okay and why would you do that um i get a lot of attention from being a beautiful girl so i understand that it's it's not right but i've always had um positive responses and everything um anyone that i could ever think of like um i'm in west and everything they've always um you know uh sent you know um things back or water emojis sexted with me stuff like that some of the story doesn't make sense okay well and this would let me, let me finish and, and and this would be a good time for you to come clean on this these are these are very serious allegations mm -hmm. yeah and i'm uh, happy to take a polygraph and, test. and you you've made them against somebody who's dead you've sent unsolicited nudes to, to people. You made false allegations. And according to at least one member of the TCAP community, you tried to extort money with a false threat. How do you, isn't it time to stop this? Isn't it time to, to stop trying to steal attention from real victims? No, because this you actually, can't feel this good actually about fucking this, happened man. to me. So, you know, that's why everyone in my life knows about this and they think that you're a disgusting human being, especially what you did with Onision and everything. You can't handle the truth. You can't. You can't dig into facts. You're a horrible journalist 
you know for a fact right. that you're not digging into anything. If this is your ch chance to tell the truth. Yes, and I'll take a polygraph test about everything because I know my truth that's not appropriate. And why would you, in that interview just a moment ago, in this interview, make a false allegation against me? Why Wait, what, did, what, was, what was false? The Onisha. That you, why would you, that why would you, even, you don't why would you say me? something that is just so ridiculous? It's embarrassing. Not to me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you just tried to do to turn the tables here and make an allegation against oh, the no. White House false. No, everyone everyone is on my no, side no. in my real life because they know exactly okay. what happened to me. I think me. we're done. I, we're done here. If you want to apologize to anybody else, now's the time to do it. I want to apologize to Joey, even though I did privately, but I do want to apologize to him. Um, to Joey TCAP. Yeah, because Wes and I were kind of doing like this show kind of thing and that was not appropriate. I shouldn't be saying things it was a leaked conversation, so I thought it was private. And I was saying, oh, how would you feel since you're saying that I'm related to the Gilgo Beach murderer? How would you feel if I called you a rapist? And that wasn't right. And that's and I feel horrible, embarrassed. Um, I spoke to him about it. Um, I've apologized. Um, I keep apologizing for it. Um, definitely not appropriate. Um, and did you and ask him for $50,000? Yes, uh, Wes told me to. Because he him. said that he's rich. Yeah, he said that he's rich and he's like, oh, could write a fault another false check and get me a lie detector test. All right. Why don't you go take a uh take a polygraph and let us know how that works out. Oh, anything no, else I need you want to say for it. Jesse, anything else you want to say? No. Um, I think that you have more questions for me because I know that you have a lot of uh trolls and people coming into your ear. And um, you know, this is very disturbing that you know you don't believe I think it's, uh, here's, what's was, here's what's disturbing, somebody who, who makes false allegations to take attention away from real victims. And I've spent an entire career helping real victims. So I, I'm not going to give you a platform to do that. So Jesse, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. One more chance to apologize no, to anybody you're not, else. You're not I'm going because I was fucking raped. So why would I fucking make that up? You're listening to AZ and Theo. That's not right. You, need, you have to be an actual journalist and dig into actual information and be ethical. All right. Well, thanks for being here. I appreciate it very much. We'll be in touch. No, I'm not done. Well, you'll be done when we're done. That was uh, that was insane. And there's still much more to come after this, but I think it's best that we split this video up into two parts. It just makes things easier for me because part two is scripted, but it's not recorded yet. Thank you so much for not only watching this video, but giving me the opportunity to work on it for like four months. I don't like taking more than a month on my videos, but this was a special project and then school got in the way, so it became a big deal. With all of that being said, I hope I made your day a little bit less boring, and I can't wait to see you for part two.